it's a little dead meme. I do drag on the spare time, bro. Hey, hey say, man, man? I, I'm proud of you. It's a vibe, bro. It's a whole ass vibe. Hey, Wait, yo, what are we talking about? about? Is, there, is there a, How about that there fucking... A, what's up? Is, 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 like, what happened? Uh, there's got Is there war. anything? There's, you, oh, there's a lot of things, actually. There's, um, there there was the, the canceling election. of the red wave. I mean, we don't need to talk about that. Oh, but yeah, I guess, yeah. What was that, exactly? I'm just, I'm just saying. That? Well, the fucking... Yeah. Everybody was all boasting about... And I feel like it was the same thing that happened when... You remember when everybody was boasting about Hillary's gonna crush Trump, and that obviously didn't happen? And, yeah. uh... At least as far as because everybody was like, oh, she's a shoe in And essentially people were doing uh, the Republicans are taking over. It's going to be a red wave. Everybody's been talking about this fucking red wave. And then somebody even like Ben Shapiro said, this wasn't a red wave. This was a red wedding because <laughs> basically a lot of them got fucking trounced. And uh, it was uh, see, it was fun seeing a lot of people like Lauren Boebert, who's had, you know, didn't even have a GED. Until very recently, and then became uh, it's. I don't want to get deep into it, but it's just like there was very insane MAGA people that were peddling the stolen election things. A lot of them got their asses whooped, nice. and and largely things to do with Gen Z. So props to the youngins stepping up. I wasn't surprised though because they're all getting political on TikTok and shit, man. And I'm like, this is. I don't want any part of this. You guys, good luck. I want to play some God of War. That's all I know. I want to fucking. Yeah. I bought it. I bought a new TV, just so I can see, guys. I don't have a PS5 because I didn't. I the, I said to myself, the only reason I would get a PS5 is if uh, Ragnarok isn't available for PS4. It is available right. for PS4, so I really didn't have a reason to get the PS5. Not yet. Like and y'all, y'all have fun getting your consoles. They just me personally. I'm like, doesn't make sense, and especially. I'm still paying for my ball and chain, you know, this immigrant, this fucking, ah, oh man, I, I, this lawyer, this fucking, yeah, man, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm kind of, I'm kind of becoming a little bit red now, because I'm just, I, oh, I get no, it. calm I down, these- oh, no, it's a red calm wave, calm down, Derek, <laughs> it's a red Derek, wave, the red yeah, wave, because- the red wave takes over the snark tank, the snark tank's red wave, that's the name of the, that's the name of the fucking episode, all right? <laughs> the snark tank rides the red wave. Rides the red wave. Oh man, uh, yeah. Let's do. Let's get those bucks, man. Let's get those. Nah, man. Let's I get can't those do it. red wave dollars. Come on. I don't on, have it man. in me, dude. I just don't have it in me. Herschel Walker. Herschel I, would, Walker. I, would, I would. I would. Yeah, Herschel I would. Do, if you guys did it, I would do it. I would feel good if people were doing it. I can't do it by myself. I need like homies. I would do it for that first paycheck. I'd do it for that first paycheck and I'd be like, whoa, there's a lot of money. Then I'd be like, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. (laughs) Are you sure? What if you see all those zeros and then you're like, there's no way I I can can keep it going a little longer? I I I, I love I love the idea of just like, ah man, I could do the grift of if I had some friends doing it with me. Like I I love that premise of just like I'll do anything as long as my friends are doing it. That's the like if if Jeremy jumps on bridge, you gonna jump off a bridge. Like fuck yeah, that's my nigga. I'm not gonna be a pussy. I'm not gonna be a dumb (laughs) pussy, mom. I'm not gonna follow my friend off a bridge. Well, you want me to never get invited to lunch again? Mom, look. (laughs) If he jumps off the bridge and he survives, I have to do it too, so everybody won't pick on me. So I have to do it, mom. You don't get it. So I never (laughs) understood you die. Imagine you die and then you still get picked on. Damn, then you bro. die, and then, and then they, they go to your funeral. They I go to your funeral. That. They're like, "This man, I'm not even sad, quite honestly, because <laughs> I'm not even you sad. Up and shit. I just came we here to make sure it. he was dead. <laughs> yeah, we all made it. So, like, I don't know what he was doing. Like, it I don't was know just what a two hundred foot. It was just a two hundred foot drop into water. Like, what's the big deal? It was two hundred foot drop into a tube pipe. <laughs> That's totally all. fine. <laughs> totally fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. And Four we feet diameter. So, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> you you literally have to do this. <laughs> like while you're falling, you have to fall into it the right point, way. <laughs> ten point accuracy. You see, fucking uh, 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 Maverick, uh, Top Gun Maverick or whatever. Yeah, you had to like shoot that pin. But it was basically it was it was it was essentially Star Wars uh, New Hope. Yeah, it was the same thing. It was literally the same thing. I was was like, like, what the fuck? (laughs) Dude, people love that movie, bro. Like, a lot. 
They really do. And it, I was actually surprised when um when your movie sucks when Adam came on because he was I was expecting him to see it the way that I saw it, where I'm like, oh, that was a fine movie, but it was I'll never see it again. But he seemed very like, oh, yeah, it was really good. And I'm like, yeah, you, it too. It too. Adamus. Well, it is made okay. from from what I have heard anyway. I haven't seen it, but I've heard that it's made very, very well. Like it's not there's not it a lot is. of like nonsense cg and there, there's like a lot of stuff that sure like a lot of the plane shit is real which you know in and of itself is, right. is kind of that's worth Pretty celebrating cool. i think especially that, no, that when like cool. you know there's the, there's that meme where it's like hey i just i just visited the mar i i'm, at, I'm on set I, I, i'm on the marvel set and it's just them in front of a green screen or whatever <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know i mean that is very, I, that's I, very I, true i understand that yeah yeah i haven't seen it though because I, I didn't so like the first top gun Right, it's it, dude. It's it's a fucking dog fighting movie. If you're it's, if you're not like say, if you don't if you don't think about that stuff often, then you would never think to let me go watch this dog fighting movie. Like it's not. It's a, a very thing. American not, film. It's a very right. America pro. I, like you know, like like if sure. if you were an Ace Combat guy, if you're like exactly if you're like that. man, Ace Combat is my favorite game. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Go that. see go exactly see Top that. Gun. Who is that uh, person? I don't know. Well, here's the I, weird I, thing. I, There's a small community that really loves Ace Combat. And apparently Ace the Combat one is, is actually fucking dope. Yeah, Ace Combat's apparently really fucking huge. And I believe that because we all know about it. I mean, you know, I know you about know what Ace what I mean? Combat because I'm I'm a millennial and those video games were brought up off when we were kids. Yeah. They were I not played Ace Combat I know about that. on PS1. Um, and I was like, no, this they were brought up a is... lot when we were when we were growing up. They're like, I never like, heard about it unless only... I unless I sought them out. Like, I, or, or they were like, only they, piloting games, you know. So you'd hear the about way that them. I would Not hear about it is be surprised them. that the I would be surprised that the 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 franchise was still going. That was my whenever I would hear about like, oh wow, Ace Combat Four, oh wow, Ace Combat. Like it would be one of those things because personally, and and, and I feel like you all feel the same. I feel like we all feel the same way. Nobody, none of us know anyone that plays Ace Combat, <laughs> but it has yeah. a huge, I, it I, has a fucking fan base. What's crazy is that. do you know that... someone personally that's like, oh yeah, I fuck with, uh, I fuck with it. Now I'm sure somebody on the podcast or one of our audience, sure. Well, definitely. At least one of them. They're contrarian. Well, well, e- well, even, them, mo- well, like... well e- even more than that, that reminds me of like fucking Roblox because Roblox is staggeringly big. Like Robo- Roblox is bigger than Fortnite is, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know a single fucking soul. I don't know a single soul who plays that's Roblox good. at all. You're that's an a good adult. point. That's, that's a very why. good point. <laughs> that's you're an adult. You shouldn't know anybody that I plays guess. Roblox. Well, if you family. did, that'd be scary. That'd be scary. I, I have younger like nephews and cousins and stuff, and they don't play it either. So I'm just like, who the fuck is playing good. Roblox? You got a you I, got a good family <laughs> on your hands. You got a good, but, you got I, a but good I'll be real. I used to family members. I will be real. I used to play the Ace Combat. I think it was six. Whatever the whatever the uh, whatever the 361 was, there was a demo, and I remember mm. I played that demo a, a shit ton because I had no money, and I needed variety, <laughs> and it was you know the what only I way I could get it. For a summer, I was really into Flight Simulator. Like for one summer of my life, for one only one summer, I was like, I really want because my friend was playing it, and I was like, this doesn't look fun. It looks stupid. Like you're flying a plane. Like, do you shoot anything? Like, do you can you like can you boost? Can you do anything? Queen cool? was like, no. You just fly a plane. <laughs> I was like, okay. Do you remember when and we I fucked around with flight, flight simulator? Do you, with, yeah, with, and it uh, showed our it showed our area. Yeah, it showed where we that was kind of that's kind of cool. I can't imagine. I, I, I like we, we were flying over like our hometown and stuff, and it was like pretty accurate because it uses like I think geomet. I think it uses like Google Earth or, or like some weird. So, like technology like that to kind of like build the world around you so that and it's like pretty high fucking fidelity too like it looks it's pretty close like it's not exactly where we're from but it's like the strip the strip that led from up in like main town down towards where i lived over towards where you lived was the literally exact thing and i was like whoa that's freaky just was, seeing yeah. that was like trippy mm. it's cool but yeah, like I, I remember it's a very it's a very niche game like i, I don't it's know it's still niche right it's still niche yeah, I do remember people flying over to Epstein's Island. I remember that. That was what kind of got me intrigued about that. <laughs> I remember I was like, "This is actually." Oh my I, god! I was I was thinking about buying it, but then um, I was like, "Ah, I didn't like the price." <laughs> people flying over to Epstein's Island. I've never. 
I'm just never surprised anymore. All right. Like I can't right, do right. it. So but that doesn't. That are doesn't any of you guys? Up. Um, are any of you guys uh, verified on Twitter? No, no, I thought about doing it, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for that. Are you fucking joking? I should be I, verified I at my it. own goddamn volition by now. I'm not going to pay for it. It's fucking uh, ridiculous. Too bad. Too bad. The, the, too bad, Chris. That's so funny to me. The, the thing that the thing that fucking annoys me about this too is that like it's so unnecessary. Like, because I, I was the. So Twitter Blue is 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 what you have to buy in order in order to get the verification. It gives you a verification. It does a bunch of other stuff too. And I saw a lot of people being like, "Well, what's the problem with charging? Because it's it it gives you less ads, and it's just like what other things do." And it's like, no, you don't have to pay to get verified anywhere else. That's ridiculous. That should be right. separate from fucking Twitter right. Blue. It's insane. The the, the verification right. process. Like I don't really care about verification. I don't. I don't just don't care about it. Like I simply don't care because Twitter is still a free app for me. You know, like yeah. I understand that, but. When I um I went through and I was like a bunch of people care about it and I made I made a comment about it right and a lot of people commented they were like because it's gonna push people and algorithm like push other people out the algorithm and all this stuff and I'm like guys the people that are gonna do it were the people that are gonna do it from like the people that are gonna do it are people that can do it for it's 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 just not gonna really change anything but the problem is that the fact that accounts of people like that dude that does all the freaking reviews and stuff. The fact that there's going to be verified accounts of him, even though it's not him, is going to be dangerous. It's like, that's how you just identify who you are as a the creator. The reviews? What are you, you talking know? about? That guy that does, like, the music reviews or movie reviews when we were talking about oh, last Fantano? time. What are you? Not Fantano. Um, the dude that you brought up, Derek. The one that people oh, are always no, no, impersonating him. Oh, no, no. You're talking about that. that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's funny you bring that up because as soon as I logged on... Uh, Twitter. You tried to do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, fuck no, no, no. I just saw a Tipster immediately with the check mark. I was laughing so hard though. I bet he was the first one as soon as it hit like twelve a.m. or whenever it was available. Like he went at it immediately just so we can get some <laughs> solace <laughs> of being it's like, me. "This I'm is the me, real guys. Tipster. It's really I'm just the real me. Tipster. And it so, made me think about doing Tipster. I did. I didn't do it because at the end of the day, I don't want to get banned. I, I really don't. I thought about it and I was like. It's not worth it. It's it's not worth the joke. Yeah, Ethan's gone. It, it, uh, and da- fucking is Daniel gone Radcliffe forever, is gone. Is, he's is he gone, gone forever? What the hell to him? Daniel, because Daniel Radcliffe played Weird Al in that new movie, and so he's tweeting as Weird Al, I think. Oh, uh, my God. And so they See, were like, you're not Weird Al. So it's like, by the way, that movie is fucking awesome. Oh, <laughs> that movie is fucking re- – yeah, yeah, because it's free. It's just like he released it for free, and then – or or it was on like – Roku channel and you could just go to the website and watch it but people people were asking him like hey I don't have a Roku and he was like oh man that's crazy VPNs are real and I'm sure you have a torrent of a lot of questions but uh, I, I can't say much but he's, he's just like basically being like steal it like whatever because they made that's it for awesome. like nothing and it is so damn it does it looks so expensive for what it is it's ridiculous Interesting. But, I'd imagine it'd but, be a dope experience he's a cool guy man damn he got fucking it's a good he got biopic. Suspended for that. That's so fucking stupid. Yes, yeah, so, so Daniel Radcliffe uh, is gone. I don't know if they. I don't know if he's back now, but he. Uh, you know, he got suspended for. The, you know, because all of a sudden comedy was illegal again. Uh, right. I don't know. I, I, I don't do know what believe, the fuck. They definitely implemented something because there is. Uh, I have it. I have an account that I don't use other than for. I wouldn't even call it a sock puppet. It's just. So I can make sure everything looks good before I post it. I know on what my you mean. Yeah, it's a test account. account. Yeah, right. A test account. Thank you. So my test account's name was Baraka Obama, and it was just a picture of Obama as Baraka from MK11. Like it was. Just, it's just. It's so stupid. But they suspended that, saying that I'm impersonating Obama, and I'm like, Oh my Bro, god! It says Barack Obama, and I'm, I couldn't believe it. Like, it's not that I'm bothered mess. by it because it was a nothing account, but they obviously have the, an issue. The, the big problem, honestly, here is that, like, and I know Sweeney was like, Oh, you know, it's it's not a big deal. But if the plan for Twitter is what elon is suggesting where it's like hey we want to get twitter to be a place where people can also monetize content because we're falling behind in that regard it's like okay that's reasonable uh i think that makes total sense there's a lot of people who have a lot of followings on here um mm-hmm. if if youtube and and all these other things can do it why not but the issue is it, when you pay for a verified check mark it also pays for basically a boost in the algorithm so it's imagine yeah i heard if about that part. Ha- that's the part imagine that like, eh. so once that happens 
Like, imagine if you had to pay YouTube out of pocket for the privilege of being in recommended. You know what I mean? Or having your right. post boosted. Like, that would be you, – you, you pay technically for server-side clients because they take that out. But to ask for, like, a subscription to be like, hey, you know, uh, if you want to be seen, you have, you have to pay – that's really shitty. Also, you just shouldn't have to pay for a fucking verified the, – the issue with the verified checkmark, honestly, is that if he had just gone in and was like, hey, the verified checkmark is, uh, is, a, is this arbitrarily sacred thing that is withheld from people with no good reason, we're going to fix it so that it does what it's supposed to do. I don't think anybody would have been down his throat about that. I feel like everybody universally would have been like, that's perfect. That is literally what needs to happen. But for some reason, he just had to make a war out of it. And it's just like, he's like, okay, we'll charge for it. So that way, the verification mark literally means nothing. To the point now where there's two verified check marks. Did you see this? I I saw that. I saw that. So there's there's like a official. Go ahead. ahead. So there's there's one that's the verified check mark that's the old one. And then there's one to prove that it's you, which is the official. But it's the same thing. It's the same thing, except it's under. So it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> is I haven't this? even seen the, the mark yet. Let me see. It's fucking. I've seen it on a hand. Stupid. I've seen it on a handful of people. Um, yeah, it's just it's so being... dumb. And everybody who's buying this, by the way, like, I, you are so stupid. I, like, if you're I, buying I, it, I, if they you make are, me so sad. Yeah, if, if you're buying it for the verification, if if for whatever reason you want to pay for Twitter Blue, I think that's also crazy. But like, whatever. Like, if if you don't want to deal with ads, like. I, I guess I can justify it a little bit more, but if you're paying it for the verified check mark, that is insane. Because you are paying yeah. for something that literally has no value now because you can pay for it. No, they want those boosted it's so things, funny. man. Those up and coming meme don't accounts, want bro. That boosted shit they want that they boost, don't bro. They don't, give a they don't fuck want about that boost. shit. Nobody wants. Nobody wants nah, anything. They want, it's, just, it's so stupid. Like I can't. It, like to your point, Chris. Yeah, they want to have the check mark, but I'm like, bro, you're not special anymore. Like somebody, dude, did you notice? Um, so I looked on Twitter. As far as actually, I also um, I rolled, uh, I, I, I I rolled out something that was in my save my drafts, basically just saying that these people make me sad. And I just like let me post that now because I forgot that it was there. Uh, but if you go to your notifications, there's already the verified section. Which I thought was really fucking weird because I thought that was reserved for people who only have verification. But in mine, if you look, it already has the verified oh, weird. thing. So you can see who is engaging with this shit, who's verified. There's a guy named Connor who has 230 followers that's in my fucking thing. <laughs> you know, So it's just so like, what is the oh, point yeah, of this weird. being here? I didn't even <laughs> what notice What is the point this? of this being here? That doesn't make There's, sense. There is no point of this being here. This guy that has 230 followers is in this section here. Like, did, did, this is why so is he here? unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Whatever. <laughs> Twitter's Twitter's a mess. I don't know what the fuck he. I don't know what the fuck he's thinking. But uh, and also, what I love about it too is that you can't even pretend. You can't even pretend. Like you didn't pay for it because ne- because if you <laughs> click on if you click on people's verified things, it'll tell you like this person is verified because they paid for Twitter Blue, or if it's like an official verification like before, it'll be like this person is verified because they're notable in in this this or this, and it's like you can't you even. You gotta wear it with pride, bro. Interesting. Pride. I saw some guy. I didn't know it did, I, I didn't yeah, know it did you, that. That's cool. Yeah, if you click on it, it'll tell you if they paid for it or not. So it's I didn't it's know you know that. how that's fucking hilarious. Do, do you know Do you know how when they rolled out? You remember when they rolled out super followers on Twitter? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you remember that where people could pay to follow you, and every everybody with that badge next to their name gets bullied in the comments because they're like, "You paid <laughs> to follow someone on Twitter." That's what this is now. It's just whatever, like, man. It's like I, I got, I, I look, I know, I know the the shit's dumb. It's dumb, but like I don't know. Worst case scenario, Twitter blows up. That's hilarious. Best, worst case scenario, Twitter blows up. You know, like whatever. You know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I hope I, I like I love Twitter, hope... but also I hate it at the same time. You know. Oh, I don't love it at all. I can't wait for it to I go love away. it. I love it. it. I love it because if of the Twitter, fact if that Twitter it's so was much a ignorance. If, if Twitter was a baby, I would drown it. Hundred percent. I don't like, without a shadow. I, 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 like I understand. The baby I understand disliking it. Dies. I understand the disliking it because for a period dies. of time, <laughs> for a period of time, I hated Twitter. Like I really couldn't stand it. But I just got like I just started just just swimming in the swimming in the ocean. I was like, oh, this is fun. 
it's fun to be a cancerous person too, you know. Or just it's I don't just, post as much. I post it's very too, It's getting too weird, man. It's getting too weird. It's it's like uh, there was a brief moment when Facebook was okay, when it was just like okay, like oh this is fine, and then now if you go on it now, I feel like a fucking boomer. I don't know what the hell's going on. I looked at notifications and they're not even in order. Like yeah, I, I was so fuck fucking confused. I was like, oh, I just saw a notification that was from like. They're a few also days not ago, but notifications. Then- like they're just like it's like I, I, I'm looking at my thing. It's like okay, let, let me look at let me go to my Facebook notifications. I never log on to right. Facebook. Let's see. What right. the, it's taking right. forever to load. By the way, that's hilarious. Uh, someone commented on someone else's post. Someone <laughs> added a new photo. Uh, Full Sail University added an event that you might that might interest you. This is not. Cool. That's not what notifications are. Notifications are someone interacted with something you posted or something. That's that's the point of a, of notifications, or that's what it was when I was using Facebook. Now it's just a fucking advertisement. You know, it's like, oh hey, it's, yeah, this might interest you. It's like, no, it doesn't. Go away. <laughs> yeah, I don't I know. Feel, what, I feel like I an alien this. when I go on this website because I want to get rid of it so bad, but so many passwords are tied to it. And I don't feel like learning all those. <laughs> you like, I know what you mean. So many passwords. <laughs> like, I know because, what you mean. Because, My because around, 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 around 2000, maybe like uh, 12, <laughs> that's when they started. Like, you can sign in with Facebook. And I was like, fuck yeah. I don't got to think oh, of the password. Convenience. <laughs> convenient and now i'm like i don't but no instagram is connected to my facebook technically my my real instagram but i think i remember that password i don't have snapchat anymore i deleted it um I. I, that shit was i i just couldn't it, it was also too like it was too sus man that was like the yeah. only what that was the only thing that i would get like weird things from people like of all colors and creeds and everything, and I'm like, bro, I just can't. This Snapchat is too was much just trouble. like Snapchat was just too much. Like Snapchat is like, I think Snapchat's a very single person's app. You know, like I realize like, uh, like uh, that's for like yeah. someone that's trying to do some sneaky shit, like trying to get a sneaky link. Like that's like <laughs> you trying to get some pussy on the low. Somebody sends you some shit. You're like, all right, deletes. They send it back. Like, I right, was I was you doing you doing this or yeah. what? You know, that's fine. I'm not. That's not me no more. Yeah, I don't, no, think, I, I don't think it's it, it is it is shitty. It's a shitty just, app. But for once, I agree I, with Sween, man. Like, I just it, that, my experience is very weird I, on Snapchat to the yeah. point I had to delete it. I don't, <laughs> I don't disagree with that. Nothing, nothing's wrong with it. Nothing's wrong with some sneak shit. At the mind, you <laughs> Look, guys, right? I, well, well, you're doing I, I some would sneak shit and you're not hurting anybody. You know, you're fine. That, if, you're if you're doing some anybody, regular no sneak sneak shit. Uh, well, no, regular to, no, 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 well, no. Well, I guess if, there's some regular sneakeries, uh, Dave Portnoy. Uh, did you see this? Did you see that tweet? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. No Wait, what, you know what, what was it? Owns, What's the here? guy that owns Barstool Sports? What do you say? What some, about it? Okay, I took a screenshot of this because I didn't think it was real. He's on some on some DL shit, on some down low shit. I, didn't, I, I couldn't believe this was fucking real. Um, he basically, <laughs> I think he was supposed to be using a sock account. To, to like hit some some dude up that he like banged or something. Let's go. It's, there was just like web. Oh, come on, let me let me pull it up right here. Okay, so there's this guy. His name was Devil Boy. This gay shit dude. Where it says on Twitter, a lot of the Lexington, Kentucky gays are not wanting to play with me. I wish I knew why. And the dot dot dot. Uh, isn't my cock big enough? Uh, crying emoji. And then the real Dave Portnoy replies to this guy. And this was uh, yesterday, on the 8th, yesterday, on the 8th of November, saying, hey, I have one night left in Lex. Hit my DMs. It's Dave from last time, by the way. And then you clicked. It was actually his thing, but then he deleted it. Some guy's, like, screenshotting before he deletes it. He deleted it. The Devil Boy guy's gone now. His account's not even there anymore. And I'm like, bro, what just happened? <laughs> was it really him? How do you, How do we know? It was, it was if it's him. Really... It was, well, because was he verified? He didn't, delete it, he didn't delete it right away. He thought he was That's on another so account. He thought he was on a different yeah. account, bro. Yeah, so people Why were like, you... just people were like, dude, he probably See, that's, thought that's crazy. he logged into his sock account or whatever, and then he accidentally tweeted for. I did this a long time ago when I was trolling my friend on MySpace. I, I made my friend Austin. He's like a huge fucking gig he's manager of a comic shop. I dressed him up like an Orange County bro. I photoshopped him like that, and my friend Brock thought it was real. <laughs> And I was just talking shit to Brock, <laughs> like I was like, like fuck you, this and like oh, yeah. and then and then Brock started getting pissed off and was literally Brock's a huge guy. Brock's like, don't let me catch you in the streets, and I'm like, oh fuck, this has gone too far. Now I was gonna push it just a little bit further. 
But Why I are you that to, person, bro? I've done it too. I've it done was, this too, bro. It was funny. I've done the same bro. thing. I've done the same <laughs> thing like, before. I fucked up though because I responded one more time and I realized I was logged into my account. So I had to call Brock and say, oh, the jig's up. Like, because obviously I fucked up. I was like, damn, I replied with my shit. And I was because I was going to tell him the other day, the next day. But uh, you're going to get your man beat up, you, just, you asshole. You're going to get your homie <laughs> no, I was, beat up. I was going to tell him before <laughs> that happened, obviously, because that would have. <laughs> That's so fucked, but I've done Can it you too. Imagine? I've definitely gone on like Joe's account and tweeted. There's one time on Facebook. This was, this was a long time ago. My friend Joe. One time I posted a penis using his account on Facebook, <laughs> and then he didn't know for a while. I think you were. You were I, th- I don't know if you were around, but I posted a penis on his Facebook. He didn't know because Joe. Joe didn't. Joe didn't have passed on his shit because he's a regular guy and no one just does that to people. He's like, oh, none of my friends are gonna do this to me. These are my friends. These are my friends. These are my friends. They wouldn't. They wouldn't betray me like, like this. That's like that's like our friend Elliot when uh, when he got he passed out once and we just drew dicks all over his face and posted his, he posted a picture of him on his Facebook and tagged him in it. Tagged him in it. We posted a picture of him on his Facebook and tagged him in his <laughs> picture. Him in his picture. <laughs> it was something was like so that. It was some. It was some crazy. It was. I didn't do it. No, I didn't. But you, it was. It was funny. I wasn't at the. I wasn't at that party. I wasn't at that party. But I was there the next day when he still had the drawings on him. And I was uh, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What went, the fuck I, happened? I, didn't, I wasn't. I wasn't at the party. I just remember that. I remember the day after. Because I think I saw him the day after in some capacity. I don't remember why. But uh, so fucking funny, dude. Yeah. That, I don't just know. Don't that, leave your social media open. Don't leave social media open around right. people. Bro, Even I, though you're supposed my to be friends, friends with people. Fucking, they killed me. When I, I spent the night at my, my, my girlfriend's at the time in, 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 this was like 2012 or something. And then I didn't check my social, I fucking, I didn't check my Facebook and all that bullshit. I was just hanging out with my girl. And then I... <laughs> I checked my phone the next morning, and I have a bunch of messages from people that I haven't talked to in a while. Like, oh my god, is it true? Like, please tell me it's not real. Like, and then everyone thinks that I fucking died because my homies posted a picture of them looking all sad. <laughs> but like, <laughs> and like, oh, rest in peace, Derek. That. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And what pissed me off though is my friend Ed looks so obviously like. He was too distraught that, like, how did you not know this, this was fake? He looked like he was crying so hysterically, and I was like, why would anybody take a picture of this? Like, it's just a bunch of the homies, <laughs> it's a bunch of the homies looking all sad, and he's looking like he's just hysterically crying, and people believed it. People t- were messaging my shit like, oh, my God, please tell me this isn't true. And I'm like, bro, are you fucking serious? You thought that was real? The idea, and, uh, the idea, so the idea of people, so the idea of people texting someone they think is dead is so fucking funny. <laughs> like, this person's... <laughs> Potentially dead, and you're going to text them. Please this tell me this dead is true. Dead person. Blah, 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 blah. Please respond. <laughs> please respond, corpse. Tell me fucking, if it's respond, true or not. Corpse. That's a, that's awesome though because I'm you sorry, get, I'm dead. You've you've gotten it. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm in heaven now. <laughs> so sorry. I, tried. <laughs> I think I think. Um, I don't know. That's awesome. That's an awesome experience to have though because you you have a glimpse into what it would be like for people if you died like a that real one yeah. like yeah, that is that is true. not something that most people experience and I, I honestly i'm gonna say this i think it should be societally acceptable to fake your own death at least once because how mm. could you not be so you- curious <laughs> how could you not be cu- that is such an that is such a I'm wild so not curious i'm so not you're curious not about curious that. at all no, it's like being curious about being at something you're not at. It's like, what the fuck ever? I'm gone. I don't yeah, give a shit. What are you? Are you serious? That's yeah. What do you I mean? Don't care. Of course. I just don't care. I also don't have FOMO though. No, I think Kingston, that's another that's... thing. I don't. I don't. I don't feel that. Yes, well, you do. You I play don't... live service games. <laughs> you absolutely have but FOMO. I'm, but I'm right. But right now, I'm not playing. Like I haven't played Destiny in a while, and there's shit going on. Yeah, because, I'm there's, like, nothing, eh. yeah, because there's nothing to miss out on. Like nothing's eh. going like, on. Tell us what's broken. Again, I think, uh, <laughs> but like, yeah, again, I don't care. I just, I just don't care. Like, whatever. Like, it's like, oh man, I wonder what it's like in Africa right now. It's like, I, I could care less. I'm not in Africa. It's basically, suck my dick. You know? Do you have like, any? Do, do, do your, do your neurons fire at all throughout the day? Like, do you? Th- nah, what do you nah, think about apathy. throughout the day? It's, a, it's extreme apathy, bro. It's that extreme, is sad. Like, That's very sad. Like, it's, it's like psych- psychopath shit, bro. 
<laughs> it's like, holy shit. Do you care? It's like, not, not, not about much. The thing is, I would be curious. I'm fair enough, I guess. About, I, I'd be curious about very specific people. I wouldn't be curious about everybody because, like, why the fuck? But, like, there are specific people that I, I feel like they would reach out and they would probably they would admit to something or something. They'd be like, hey, man, I'm so, mm. oh. They'd be like, I'm so sorry. I should have fucking. And it's like, ah, I knew it. I knew it, you fucking. <laughs> that, you fucking. That would be pretty son good. of a bitch. But I don't know. It was, it was me. I, I came on you. I, I, that, I, day you had, that day you woke up with all that cum all over you it was me I came on you a bunch and I left you there I didn't even I was gonna clean you up but you woke up that day you, <laughs> that day you, you woke up, you woke up. <laughs> then you woke up and I was so scared I ran off I ran off and didn't tell I you for ran years off and you're like what how does that happen Jesus there's Christ, nothing again? more devious My that is the most devious unbuckled. thing I've, that's the most devious thing I've ever heard so you just come on somebody and scamper into the fucking brush that is crazy <laughs> That is not, that's not even people, a prank. The idea of people that would did that in the street, like people in like Europe or Canada would come on people. Just come on women. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong I've with seen, you? Okay, so like, I've seen, the hell? Um, there I've was seen a, stories I can't remember about that what happening. This, I, I can't, there was a website. I can't remember what this website was called, but it was one of those offshoot links that would, uh, if you would go on like rotten.com or steakandcheese.com, it was one of those things. And yeah, it just had yeah, yeah. fucked up videos. And one of the videos that I saw was a compilation, and I couldn't tell if it was real or not because I was probably like in seventh grade or who knows. But it was just a in J- Japan, and this dude beating off behind a newspaper close to a woman sitting on like a bench or something, and then he would assault her by fucking just skeeting all over her and then run off. And all of those chicks, the reactions were relatively the same of, like, just confusion. And that's what made it seem real to me. Because to me, it's like if it was fake, you would probably have different reactions. That sounds real, You'd probably real, have reactions yeah. of anger. But, like, most of them, were, it was just, like, just extreme confusion. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's on imagine, me? Reaching imagine another person. Only, like, <laughs> like, imagine only being able insane. to get off if you come on unsuspecting people. <laughs> Like so that is awful. imagine being that <laughs> cursed in the head that that is the only that's the only bit of dopamine that that cr- that crouches into your day. Just like it's when <laughs> so he's gone, he's leaving. Dude, I, I think he finally he finally like he's like, um, how come I've never thought of that? This is the he's earliest like, he's ever given up. That's very true. Yeah, it is you know, true. Usually he guy, he's got it, Gerald it's, it's hair just right now. Interesting that this guy. <laughs> This guy's like the king of live league, and then like there's certain things that just really will set him off, you know. Like I think nah, comes one just, of those things that he's really sensitive to. Nah, it's just like it's just like, like I'm just thanking God I'm not a woman, bro. Like <laughs> thank God, bro. Like I praise mean, the Lord, dude. I mean, <laughs> the fact that yeah. if someone came on me, if someone Nobody came wants- on me, bro, I, <laughs> I would eat them. I would just be like, oh, I gotta devour you, like a fucking rabid animal. I'd bite him by his <laughs> neck and start eating him, and then bark at anyone that comes near me to try to get him away. <laughs> I remember my uh, my friend's seem uncle. Too bad, to be honest. You don't, because, you don't yeah, it so? doesn't seem too bad because it's probably never going to happen to you. That's why yeah. it seems so no, not, but I don't know, it's ridiculous. No, but it what, does I, seem I, pretty I, bad to me. I don't know. I, to, uh, Chris, if someone uh, came that's on not you, you happen would freak to you, the though. fuck out. Exactly. Yeah, that's why yeah. it doesn't seem so bad. I no, that. but it's but not. There's a lot how of things many, that are never going to happen to me that seem awful. No, but like how many, th- like being worried about being a woman because you might get cummed on on a train is like being worried about being a man because you might die in space. Like. That's the, like no, how infrequently not, they're, they're, does that fucking happen? They're both. I would say the coming on the train happens it's a little significantly. Bit more. I would. I would say. I would <laughs> say probably more. a million. Barely I would more. say probably a million percent more often. But I, <laughs> I don't say, think so. Well, how about we I, Google? You don't know percentages some, at all. I know percentages Google. better than you probably. If you're arguing this right now, Chris, the, the, some, you know how many people go to space explosion. a year. You know how many people go to space a year. Yeah, but Chris? do you know how many? No, but Kingston, do you understand that that's not even like exclusively a woman thing? I've like dude, there are videos of people, men getting men cummed on get, in the street. You're out of your mind. Dude, you haven't, you haven't been to fucked. When was the last time you went to fucked? Chris, I don't. There's not a lot oh, of you compilations of men <laughs> getting cummed on frequently. They exist. Well, I know I, they exist. I, it, Listen, it, you I know, know they exist. And like messed up, and like messed up porn compilations. Yes, but that's that's look, even look, more contextual. What I'm saying is very. I've seen it. It's hilarious. It's so funny. But like the the thing is like listen that's true the obvious thing here is that 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 is not something that if you're a woman statistically you don't have to worry about that at all like I feel like that's a better that's one of the best things you know like oh yeah I I just got cummed on 
Y- Let's you're see. Right. It could be no, way you, worse. Yeah. Are, oh no! I could buy right, a house Chris. at nineteen. You are oh, right, Chris. God, like, stop. Like, stop. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. It, it's always gonna come back stop, to it. It always comes back bro, to it. It's like I listen, man. Fu- Chris, do you hear yourself right now, dude? Do you hear yourself? I hear myself, man. I don't give a fuck. This is Yo, real. Oh my god, bro. No, it's n- <laughs> dude. Oh no, my shirt is ruined. Out. I guess I'll go back to my home that I own. Big You're fucking deal. So bitter. Oh my if god. If I could come down it today, happened. if I could cut co- if I could come down today, I gotta go to my apartment that I rent. So like you know, bro, dude. Not every girl's doing that. Not every girl I mean, is thriving excessively doing that. Not every girl's doing, doing that because you know. won't. Listen, listen, listen. If you're not because doing you it, won't it's find- you, you, it's because you won't do it. It's because you're not doing it. You're, you're not putting yourself out there. Dumb. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna say it straight up because you're fucking dumb. Stop, dude. Stop. My girlfriend doesn't. You know how they say. You know how they say. You know how they say. Work smarter, not harder. If you're, yeah. Also, if you're, also, if you're a guy and you're not doing it, you're fucking stupid. You're a dumb, fat imbecile. Well, dude, fat imbecile Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight is doing it. He's making a couple of bucks now, and I'm just he, like, he, and that's he, what I'm saying. He, he did, that bro. He was like, I make like three. I got three hundred dollars away from he me. Got, like, I was like, God damn! And he just started. He got a cool three hundred right now, and I'm like, bro, I. The fact that he didn't, he got more than twenty dollars is just like upsetting to me. If I'm just I had, like, if my girlfriend would not get mad at me, I swear to God, I'd post sets of my. I would post fucking like. Diagram of my dick. I would tell it. her. I would make. I would make little because, sweaters because I have to. You have to Why? tell her. Why do you have to tell her? Why do you have to because tell her? Because we're in a well, relationship. Unless, do you think? Do you think? Is think she of it would... like. Think of it like this. Think of it like this. Right. God forbid. Right. This is very unlikely to happen. God forbid. She's like talking to somebody. She's like, oh yeah, this guy just posted his dick on um, OnlyFans or some random girl she met somewhere. She takes a click, sees my birthmark. That's my boyfriend's dick. That's his dick. Why but is she then asking she for pictures realizes, of people's dicks? But then she puts... Because you can see it, it in passing. It's Twitter, bro. Check it. Check it. But then she puts two and two fuck together. stares in passing. That's why Sweeney's balling. That's so why like, he's been so showering me with gifts. Bro, if you think... That's if you why think... Sweeney can actually afford uh, clothes now that aren't torn in from the thrift store. <laughs> If you think, if you think honestly, even if I did it, I'd, you know what's crazy? Even if I did OnlyFans and I was doing decent, I'd still get paid less than her. That's crazy. She well, would no, still yeah, just yeah. outpay me. She well, would just yeah, still outpay I mean, out- me. Yeah, there's a wage gap. I mean. There, well, no, there. I'm talking about not even including, not even including the, if we both did it, it's what she's doing now. She would still probably outpay me. Okay, okay. No, like, would, that's, it, the, no but she would make more than you on OnlyFans as well, is what I'm saying. Oh, she would. She absolutely would. She would make fucking way too, yeah. Zero it doesn't matter. Looks. It literally does not matter as long as you're a woman. You will make Did you see that Dr. Drew started because... OnlyFans? Did... But not, that's not true. Not, not, not every woman. But I mean, lot, I wouldn't be stupid. Often... Dr. Drew's kind of jack, bro. He's kind of jack. He got yeah, some he, muscle he on him. He got some muscle on him. Yeah, he could start an OnlyFans and then, like, if he doesn't. Well, he, he if he had the chance to do it while he was alive, he would have he made bank. That's a good point, man. R.I.P. Yeah. All I'm saying is that there we know a lot of women that do it. I know women that do it and then complain about money afterwards, and I'm like, <sighs> "What are they complaining about?" Listen, I'm like, "Listen." That's the sweetheart. thing. It's like that's the thing. That's that's okay. That's so, what okay, gets me. Before, that's what gets me. That's what gets me. Hold on, hold on, hold Before before sure. before we continue, that is what it's like. Listen, I it, I you you are a person and I respect you, right? But also, mm. do, if you if you have if you if you are somebody that we know who does this. Do not complain to us about money. We cannot understand don't it. We ever, cannot relate. And we will actually not. We will not respond kindly to it. We'll, we'll, we'll be like, I will oh, respond yeah. kindly. I, I respond no, no, no. You'll kindly. respond kindly, but your brain's going to be doing all sorts of things. Your brain's like, your brain's oh, yes, absolutely. Being like, you guys, your brain's going to be being like the, the nerve of this person. Like, that, like, how could you possibly? How dare you? <laughs> yeah, Complain to me about you, literally anything else. Literally anything else. I, I'm, I'm with you. It's so disheartening, bro. When, like, when, when someone you know just like, oh, I took a picture of my feet, and now I don't have to pay rent. It's like. Oh no, my my feet pe- my feet paid for my college in three days. Paid for everything. Paid for my house, my car, my luxury car, my house with way too many rooms that I don't fucking need. So many of these fucking women are killing it, and Dude, they can but literally but work. But let's, but let's, but let's one day of work. Let's, let's, hey, let's shut reset, up. Hold on, hold on. One day reset. of work. It's not so just, many. We're just There's a it. good few. There is a There's good. Enough. I wouldn't say so many. There's a good. I would few. definitely say so many. I would say, so I would say it's a good even view. to the point where, because I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. I have tried to get my friends that I've grown up with to be like, hey, guys. Yeah, and I'm talking about on the, on the, 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 the peak of my online presence. Like, guys, you see it's possible to get involved. Let's do some shit. Let's grow an empire. Let's 
do a podcast, let's this, and then they still would feel very, like, timid. Now, when it comes to OnlyFans, there are multiple women that I've grown up with that are either doing it or on the cusp of doing it. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh, yeah. That, I, under, I understand that, right? But but we don't know a ton of women that are doing it that are like we know uh, quite a few women that are no, but doing you see, it. Like making what I'm trying bread. to say, like in that comparison that I just made that fucking none of my friends jumped on board. None of them, even though I'm like, what? Well, excuse me. One tried for a little bit. He he did a few YouTube. Some of his videos blew up a little bit, but then he just fucking quit. But like just mm-hmm. one out of all of the people that I've grown up with, none of them have fucking even tried. And even I've encouraged some, and then like I've had to not encourage any women that I've known. They're all like, "Bro, I think I'm gonna get this bag," and I'm like, "Why the fuck not?" I mean, even like start with yeah, your fucking feet. Yeah, yeah I, it's, not, feet. it's not even like a. It's not even like a. You shouldn't do it. It's like absolutely. I like I said yeah, earlier, you'd be dumb not to. You would be dumb. You would yeah, be dumb not to. But then, but then don't, don't. Just don't, just don't, <laughs> don't complain to me about money after that. That's that's the only thing. That's the one right that you lose after you do that. That's the that's it. All right, you're still a person. Look, you still have. I still, I will still talk to you. You're still cool. We're all good. One hundred percent respect. You cannot come to me with that yeah. complaint because I, I I'm, I'm jealous. I'm I can't. One thousand percent. I wish that now. I am gonna. I'm I'm working a little bit harder in the gym now. Um, I'm working a little bit harder. My, uh, I'm also happy that my herniated disc has, hasn't been bothering me as much, so I want to go even harder. Because I really want to just – I'm going to do this only thighs thing. I'm really going to do it. Because That's a good idea. I imagine – because I, I just thought about if, if I can get 10 bucks a month and, and imagine it just – I can get an extra cool 100 if I just get 10 subscribers. I was just like, well, now, sure, there's a the little bit of the cut that they take. So let's just say fucking I get 11. But I was just like, that isn't that many. I was like, I feel like I could get – a decent amount of people that will just admire thighs. I feel like it's not a a saturated thing that men are doing because you saw. Did you see? Uh, I don't know if he actually crushed. I think yeah, it was Hassan. Hassan crushed. Hassan has fucking no thighs, but he's a good looking guy and he crushed a watermelon. And the thirst comments that I saw were fucking un- crazy. I was like, wow, they look. I mean, and, and dude. That fucking Chris Redfield from Resident Evil Village thing that I posted, <laughs> that mod where his penis is way too long. It's like ridiculously clownishly it's a baseball long. Baseball bat, bro. Dude, and the comments, how thirsty people were for this shit. And I'm like, there is a vacuum for a lot of men that aren't jumping on this train, but they do have to be in shape. That's the one difference because they're not. Yeah, they're not. True, if, yeah. if there was Duke, there, if there, if Duke was well, on OnlyFans, he's only getting a little bit of money. Well, he's not he's not going to be in top tier. I mean, Ooh, well, OK, yeah. OK, because well, I was going to say Boogie, you know, he's, he's not breaking in cash, but yeah, right. he's making a little bit. But I feel like not so, a lot of I feel like I feel like you guys over exaggerate the amount of women that are raking in cash. You think like, oh, like, uh, I know some it's not of millions them, of people. It's not even like hundreds. I don't think them. it's probably. But like, I'm, I'm saying like, you know, it's it's enough that I'm, I'm like, all right, Dude, there's probably enough to saying, alleviate I'm not saying like, a, lot of them, a lot of their bills. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying that it's uh, like all of them are like just buying houses with their money, but like I mean, yeah, I can guarantee you uh, a a feet picture is making a lot more money than realistically it should. You know, yeah, that, it's one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, I'm not paying. If, if you pay for if you pay for pictures of someone's feet, you can't sit with me no more, bro. You That's can't crazy. Sit with me. I can't, it really I, is I can't insane. Fucking sit, I, you can't sit the thing with is, me, bro. It's like, you can't. Don't you, touch me. But to be fair, you can't, <laughs> none of us like feet. Right, yeah. so the fact it's one that of those people things. can like feet in general is a fucking sad. No, I situation. agree. I agree because when I just that, like, see feet, they're like just what? tools. They're just tools. When I see them, they don't do anything for me. They're just tools. However, I will say when you do deconstruct what the other things that are attractive, I understand there's um, evolutionary reasons why we're attracted to hips and breast and stuff. But when you deconstruct what they actually are, it's just like bags of fat. And just but like the, sacks but the, of but meat. But the evolutionary like, you understand context that, like, is still there, though. But, uh, no, like, I understand. Yeah, but feet, I understand. There's but, no context. Well, look. How good I, you step? You step good. Not. Yeah. Like, what? No. Look, there's some people. I've, I've looked into this a little bit to understand why. And all I know, it has to do with symmetry and other stuff. Like, there's things that I don't look for in feet because, like I said, they're just tools. Like, I don't look for, like, oh, this hammer looks sleeker than this one. Like, it's a hammer. It just does a thing. So, like, feet are the same way to me, but other people look at it and they're like, oh, there's, like, symmetry to the toes or, oh, the, there's about the length of toes and shit. Like, that means stuff to these people. Line them up. 
Line up those people yeah. and yeah. bang, bang, bang. That's it. Line them up. Line them up in front of the wall. Is that and not a little then bit extreme? Take your, your mouse cadoodle out and bang, bang, bang. All I'm right. so sick. Don't give them a platform on here. Don't validate I mean, them. Look, man, I'm just I'm just trying to be reasonable, even though nah, bro, I don't that. I don't get it either nah, necessarily. Like I don't shit, see bro. it. I don't see it from that. My eyes do not see that at all, not even a little bit. But fair enough. They're not harming anyone is what I'm saying. They're not That's harming anybody. Saying. That's true. But when you open but your you mouth wanna, about shit like that. But you want to take them out, though. But when you open your mouth about shit like that, when you, when you brace. Because <laughs> this is the thing, right? This is the thing, right? Which is the internet. Yeah, this is the biggest yeah. problem with the internet, I think, overall. overall. We've gotten too comfortable with not shaming people for things they like. Some <laughs> things you should be shamed for. Yeah, the, 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 there are just, things. That, that, that whole, like, no kink sh- shaming thing is funny because, like, absolutely kink shame. My, I'm like, so, like, what do you mean? It, that's totally oh, fine. Oh, I like fucking dogs. It's like, I'm going to insult you for that. That's your kink. <laughs> I'm going to belittle you. You deserve this. How are you going to say I'm no kink people shaming? Defending everybody. How are you going to say no kink <laughs> shaming when Chris Hansen has made a whole career off of it? Literally. You know I mean? Whoa, chill out, chill out. Chill out. These, these, I mean, these. You're, come, you're, you're starting to cross, you're starting to cross wires that don't need to cross. I don't know. You're, I don't know, you're man. Technic- you're technically sort of right, but like also stop. I don't know if you, you know, want to ask I am that 100%. question. I, if, I, I, I am 100%. No, no, no. You're, no, you're sort of right. Banging you're, you're, kids is a kink. No, it, it, it 100% I mean, is. But like at the same time, I mean, you got to stop. It's is. not. Don't conflate well, that. What, like, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say I basically is. I don't want to go there. What I'm, what I'm trying. No, I'll go there. What I'm basically trying stop. to say is if, <laughs> if you like that. feet. No, listen. If you like feet, you're pretty close. You're you're not as far away from uh, from a pedophile as you think you are, and I think maybe oh you have to. Uh, I think. Oh <laughs> I think you gotta. I think you gotta really evaluate where you're at. What's dangerous, if, Chris? If you're you're say, what's, da- what's, what's dangerous is that you're saying this right, and there are people that are watching this that are gonna agree with you just because you're you, and that's where the danger comes from. No, that's, wait, wait, that's wait. where this danger. That's where the danger starting. All right. No there are people one, that are like, no oh, one, Chris is. Chris, Chris believes this. I don't know, man. You got you got like some you got that king. Uh, I I feel like I feel like a lot of those incels that have done some horrible shit. That they, they, if they look through their their subscribers, you're on there. You're on there. Chris. <laughs> they definitely fucking, watched one or two of your videos, bro. Watching like, oh yeah, uh, fucking, they're all mad about Halo Two. You know, like they're that fucking, Buffalo King definitely knew who you were. One of my favorite <laughs> things. <laughs> one of my favorite things about like uh, whenever there's like a shooting like that is Rusty Cage yeah. is always in the. Fight. He's always Rusty. Uh, <laughs> <he> always... <laughs> it's oh so my fucking. God. It is so That's damn funny. So funny. funny. Bro. He's like, such a unique person. That's why I love him. He's such an abnormal guy. And I love, I love that Rusty. it's always him. Rusty's great. He's a great guy. But it's just like, why is it always right. him? They they like him so much. It's he the knife song. He's just stuff. <laughs> It's that it's that knife. It's, it's it's because he has those knife song music videos that that like go like crazy viral every. I don't know if this is I don't know if this is literally true, but like it's it's like they go viral every so often because they're just like based off of like old um, not nursery rhymes but like old kind of jingles, and so they they resurface mm. a lot and they've undoubtedly seen them. So it's like they they that breed <laughs> that breed of yeah. person undoubtedly watches video and they're like, <laughs> I love the knife oh, game. <laughs> I love the night game. Let's go to Florida. Let's go to a gay club in Florida. <laughs> I love the knife game. Whoa, let's go to this Texas. Let's, let's yeah. go to this elementary let's school. Let's go to the massage Texas. parlor in fucking Atlanta. Let's go to this. <laughs> let's go to this church in North Carolina. <laughs> God damn, bro. Let's all just chill. Let's go. But, let's but, go to the, but, let's go but, to the but, supermarket but, in Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right, dude. There's so remember, many. Do you guys remember? Do you, you guys remember? Name them all. Way too many. Wait, wait. No, no, no. There's too many. Do you, Do you guys remember the? <laughs> this is not funny. It's really funny. It's really this funny. Is not funny. The context but, is kind of no, sad. No, 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 no. Listen. Moving there on. is. Do you guys remember there was this supermarket shooting where this guy he made a video about how much like he loved Ember from Danny Phantom. My yes, name is yes, Ember. I saw this. You that was this is ages ago, by the way. This is like maybe twenty. This is like maybe 2018, 2019, earliest. Uh, but I that one blew my mind because I'm like, wow, Danny Phantom killed people. 
<laughs> Butch Hartman killed <laughs> people. It's he Butch Hartman. Shit on no, he did it. No, it's yeah, not. He did. It was it was specifically his fault. Why did he say he, did they changed the design or something and he, he blamed? No, him? he just invented this character that this 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 fucking dude got obsessed with and killed people over. Like it's just a very but that real... doesn't mean that's not his fault. I mean, he it's not it? not his fault. It's not his fault. It's more, what are you talking it's, about? It's more. It's, it's more his fault. It's more. It's more it's his fault look, than like look, mine look. or yours. Yes. That right, which means yes. to some degree that, that which means but it's not his there fault. Is, though I'm not saying it's his fault, but there is a percent. Well, I did say that, but there is a percentage. <laughs> I hate you so there much. Is, look, I'm just saying there's a percentage of fault. You know what I mean? Like if he you should if take you responsibility. Give birth, like if you give birth to 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 Jeffrey Dahmer, it's not your fault, but it's it's you, definitely it's not your it's not your fault, but you definitely did that. But it's not your fault, you know? Yeah, it's We're like you, it's not your fault, bit, but you did that, bit, you know? A little bit of accountability, it's like, just a little bit. It's like it's like well, if you no, got into a car accident. It's it's like if you got into a car accident and you and you flew through the windshield, right? And you 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 were like Beyblading through the windshield. And you landed on a family. and you <laughs> land on a baby or something. <laughs> it's like, that's not necessarily your fault that you Beybladed could you, a baby. Could you could you imagine if there was a car accident, right? And it's like a big pile up, then some guy you hear like a thud in your car and you wake up a few moments later, the airbags, you move them out your face, you look at a back seat, and there's like someone like my size where your baby was, and he's unscathed. <laughs> but he yeah, definitely baby, came baby, through that windshield. And the that baby will break your fall. And that baby is splattered. He's like, "What's all this cherry soda on my back? Like, what's all this jelly on my back? You know, but it's it's jelly? Do you get mad at him? It's not his fault. He just got flown through somewhere. That I doesn't mean- matter though. At that point, you're still like, because because you're just gonna rationalize. It's like, what were you doing in a position where you ended up here in the first place? You of mean in my you. bedroom? You mean in my bedroom, lying down, and the series of fortunate events happened? <laughs> what I'm what I'm saying is, it's Imagine. not. It's not necessary. It's it it's. It's it's difficult to separate these concepts, but it's not your fault, but you're to you, blame. No, it's not your fault, but you did that. And the right. that varies. The that which it is varies, but you did that. Like you didn't kill anybody, but it, you did make Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, without That's you, that. <laughs> That's without it. you, this wouldn't have happened. Like this 100%. One, no, no, no. Without you, this very exact thing. You got to be exact. This very exact thing. Without you being born, Jeffrey Dahmer would not exist. We can't right. say your kid would not be murdered, but Jeffrey Dahmer wouldn't exist. So if you, you know, if any. So any, Rusty, I'm know. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 he's tweeted about it. He's, he's like, I remember like when it happened, he was like, what getting the fuck? ahead of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, What's funny know, is that it's never it guys really that anything. like it's never guys that like like Digimon cards or like never like guys that are just a little weird that shit like this happens to. It's always like these guys. It's always the same archetype of person. They always have the same physique. They always have like it's never just some guy that like no one just snaps regularly anymore. You know, never this is guys like I'm crazy now and he goes and he does something. Some guy that's played basketball and had like a decent life. It's always like. Hmm, I'm mad. My my girlfriend banged my dog, and now I'm gonna take it out on like this high school that I've never been to or never seen three miles away from my hometown. You know, like what happened to like what happened to the? Let's make. I want some more randomness. You know, I'm tired of assuming what the guy looks like and being like, oh, of course. Well, it's just yeah. it's just it's a breed. It's a breed. It's a breed, man. It is, bro. You have builds, the whole, you know, the holy trinity. You have the people that listen to Jordan Peterson. That think they deserve women when they don't because they smell and they're lonely and they're stupid. <laughs> you have the the ed, the edge lords that watch the PewDiePie because PewDiePie was making all these memes and shit, so they think, "Oh, I'm cool, I'm quirky." And then they have the Rusty Cages. <laughs> they because they're listening to Rusty Cage and they're like, "Oh, I'm I'm fucking I'm so dark and mysterious and I'm so I'm so aloof." And you put those three together, you, you blend it all together. All of a sudden, this motherfucker looks up how to get an AR-15, and then it happens. It's just like it's it's. <laughs> it's <laughs> so, it happens. <laughs> He looks at AR-15. So- <laughs> he looks out at AR-15 while he's underage, and he gets it somehow because these gets, laws are stupid. He gets and it, then, and then he's he like, fucking, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I got to get bullets. Subscribe to PewDiePie, and then he fucking starts singing the Rusty Cage song. Starts blasting a bunch of uh, <laughs> black black t- t- teenagers. Wait, 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 wait. What are they? Wait, there was uh, what the are black they? church. 
There was the black church. There was the black church. There was the black people. In, it was the black people inside that, of a, a supermarket. Yeah, okay. I was but most try to of them were. Together. Some of them were white. Some of them were white though. So was, oh, okay, he got that yeah, one so. white lady. He apologized to her. At least, oh. at least she got an apology. Um, <laughs> he apologized to her. He apologized so to one of the white ladies he shot. He was like, "My bad. That's I didn't so mean insane. it to you." That's so. I insane. love how I love how that was. That the one where people were like, "It's not necessarily racist." Is that that one? Don't know I love one. I love the, the one political one, right, bro. It was one. I think I think it, I think it was I think it was it was because the, the, there was a gun with like the N word written on it. It was like it's probably not yeah, that racist. Was, that, and I'm like, well, were, were there really people saying that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was it it's, was like probably, real. It was like real dumb right It's probably just a crazy, it's it's a crazy person. And it's like, like yeah, well, it probably is just a crazy person. Yeah, it's so also like like what do you mean? Like Occam's razor is that it's racist. Like it takes more effort to arrive at the conclusion that it wasn't. You know what I mean? Right. Like just, right. just it's like no, the- you don't get it. He was a fan of this thing before, and it's like yes. Then, then his for his preferences changed. Oh, no, you don't understand. He hated <sighs> gingers, and he he was uh, he was dyslexic and colorblind. Perfect. Mm, okay. That's why so, the, the N word was on his gun. He misspelled it, and that's why he targeted black people because he couldn't tell. Did that guy get killed or did he get arrested? I don't remember. He, I don't know. He, both, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what happens to these people. <laughs> they probably they shot him and arrested. arrested his corpse. <laughs> That's crazy. He threw handcuffs on a dead body. It's you know what's crazy about that? Is it's that there is technically... <laughs> My favorite thing about that is... Uh... What the fuck is it? I got like a... Oh, it's one of these fucking spam, these scam emails. What I love about that is that that's probably oh. something that happened a long time ago, like when people didn't understand the nature of death or something, or like when they would be like, "Ooh, we still believe in supernatural shit." But, uh, yeah. Let's uh, he's you, dead, but let's arrest think, him just in case. Do you think incarceration? <laughs> you, think, you think incarceration came before the understanding of death? No, I think, but I think the understanding that t- death is final. Is probably pretty recent in comparison to a lot of things, especially since uh, you had a lot of. Those, I have a uh, lot of older people would... in my family who like believe in things that they really shouldn't, and I'm not even talking about necessarily like religious things. I'm, t- I'm talking about like I don't even know. Like they, they I, I wouldn't be surprised if my great uncles believed in some way that vampires are real. You know what I mean? You and are. Just like, oh, we haven't seen a, it. You are a Caribbean Hispanic person. Your the family comes is real. from. Your family comes from Hell an yeah. island, bro. There's only so much evolution they can have. You know, like you, yeah. can, you can only you can only go mentally so far when you live on an island. You know, like there's well, no, never any just Jesus from islands. It's also just <laughs> religion never. that, like, I think religion like opens you up to that with a lot, a lot more. It stunts then, your growth oh, mentally sure. because, yeah, you you have to you fundamentally. Why have wouldn't to you believe, believe in, in vampires magic? if you believe in all that? You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. it, it'd be insane not to really. It'd be insane if not to believe is, that the chupacabra is out there. Vampires is way more plausible of like something happening than like some of the shit that people normally believe today. All that shit is bullshit, bro. All that shit is bullshit. <laughs> just, what's crazy is that I re- I had a dust dawned on me when I was like eighteen, but I realized that because of Christianity, so many other religions are viewed as like evil and like icky when they're just like simply just religions. Like voodoo is viewed as so terrible and bad, but it's well, any, just simply pagan, really. It's just right. simply people just like worshiping the dead. It's very similar to like meso uh, meso like um, Mexican religions, and like because we're Christian, we're like it's bad and they're doing devil work, and it's like well, not really. Do you look into it? And it's like ah, you don't get it. You're dumb. Hang him. Devil work's pretty <laughs> epic. <laughs> pretty happy yeah. i guess i gotta say the, the the best trick that like modern religious like zealots and crusaders did was to say that theirs is like the real shit when it's not even the oldest shit you know what i mean you know, like oh, that yeah, yeah. to me that's the best like trick you know, like there's religions that are way older like all the way to like say mesopotamian stuff like and like you like, could, you'd probably want you'd probably want to go back w- as far as you can to get to the bottom of shit. And they're like, nah, our shit's our shit's real. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Shit, like, when I was in Catholic good. school, when I was in Catholic school, when I was like really really young, there would be there would be like it, every week we would have to go to confession, or every Friday. I can't remember if it was every week or every month. I know like we we went pretty frequently, 
during yeah. school hours. It was I think it was like the first Friday of every month or like every I can't remember exactly. But we would go to the church that was like across the street from our school and we would go into the confession booth like each and each and every one of us would like confess our sins or whatever. And I remember being like I haven't done anything. And so I would lie. I would say like oh I did this. <laughs> Uh, and then the next week, I would be like, I-, I lied last week about confession. I didn't do <laughs> about that. About doing shit. And then I would make something else up. And then I felt so weird about it that I was like, I'm going to start doing things to confess because I feel weird about lying about doing things to confess. So I would like steal like little things and I'd be like, oh, I stole this thing just so I could, sa- just so I could have something to say because it felt weird. Were you pressured he- to confess? Dude, well, the priest, what? like, I don't think I was pressured in it specifically, but the guy would, like, I don't, there was, like, this weird, I remember, uh, like, this weird condescension. Whenever, whenever I said, like, I didn't do anything, you would, like, he would either not believe me, or, like, when I would say something, it would be, like, there would be this thing, like, yeah, uh, five Hail Marys. Like a like a fucking Seven Eleven clerk or something. I remember being like, "Am I not doing enough? Am I? Do, what What are my classmates telling you that you're so disappointed in what I'm saying? What's like, crazy I to stole me. a carton of milk. That's not enough. Do I have to fucking throw a kitten into a fucking oven? Yeah. Like, I what do I have know, to son. do? You need to grab a Chaos Emerald and bring it back. It, can you? I would not know how to handle that at that age. Go like, I think part of me, like, what? like, part of me would believe that that was like bestowed upon me. It's like a real quest, for, because like this is an authority <laughs> figure who's like connected to a higher plane of existence. If if I was a priest in any way, I would absolutely do that. That's why you'd never <laughs> right? be a priest. Right? That is I why know. you'd never be a priest. <laughs> I could you be. I could pretend to be born again and fucking get into it. That's not true. A, uh, that's not true. That's get, crazy. get into an archdiocese. Oh, absolutely, you couldn't do it. You I could do it. I could gaslight a bunch of uh, uh, kids cat. into. Uh, that's cat. Uh, I could uh, absolutely uh, do it. Into you can't play would... video games you don't like long enough. You can't pretend to be born again. You're out of your fucking <laughs> mind. You're out of your fucking <laughs> mind. You're capping. You think I? You're you lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself right now. Not anyone else. You think I wouldn't love to pretend to be born again to people? Chris, Chris, Chris. I. I could wager all the money we'd make from the podcast. So also, why would I? Play you just video couldn't games do like. that because you don't fucking believe. You don't care about it. You wouldn't be able to fake being a born again because some stupid shit would happen. You'd be like, "This is way too stupid for me to bullshit," and then you would fucking give up the bit. You could no, not go so. through all that. I don't believe that. That's insane. That's like You're me crazy. saying I could. Pre- I could pretend to. I could pretend to be. I could pretend to be racist. For a, a whole year, I couldn't do that. I would lose my mind. I'd be, yes, I can't, you could, just, Kingston. You've been doing that for I the last not. five years. I'm pretending I'm racist <laughs> since when? Well, you're not pretending, but you know what I I'm, mean. I'm yeah, racist. You're pretty racist. Yeah. I mean, Whoa. a little. You have, Whoa, a lot of you have a lot of interesting. You literally you said you would. To you literally say, said you would disown your child if he was slightly fair skinned. No, right. I, just said it. I never said that. And I said you can have a preference. I never said I would disown it. That's crazy. That, I so thought you about it. You have a lot of, a lot of interesting I, things I've to say. About about, I've thought about it. About my significant other. You I've never said a to say <laughs> about my significant other's people. I've and never people said a like single her. bad thing about JoJo. Well, I no, think people, them. People that look I like think them. I think it a lot. I never say it. Because I'm not a what, bad what person. What is the fucking difference? What There's is a huge the goddamn difference. difference? There's a huge no, there difference. Isn't. Once you no, act on something, that means so you're if, fucked up. So if you, <laughs> so wait, so once you, it, it only matters if you verbalize the racism. It's fine yes. if you think it. Because you, that is when I think it, I departmentalize it. And I'm like, oh, I'm ignorant. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. I don't know what's happening. But right once, now. but once you to, say it, it's but, it's simpler but just once, not to th- have racist thoughts. <laughs> yeah, well, simple for you. Most, <laughs> simple yeah. for you. Simple for you guys. Good job. Look at you guys. Look at the disabled. Listen, <laughs> look at you guys tearing me down. You guys, you guys are punching down on me right now. But punching <laughs> down. Well, disabled aren't a race. I, I, I mean, it's true. Um, it's kind of like when uh, you, you think know, they uh, are. Did you guys hear that Andrew Tate uh, converted to Islam? That makes sense. I thought you were going to say Andrew Tate became retarded or something. Well, I, no, that's already it's too late. I, <laughs> it's too late. Let me go turn on my light because my room is fucking – it yeah, was, was like, perfectly lit like, and now it's like a vampire movie. room is always doing something. We're going to have to get just, you studio lights. We, dude, we're going to have to give you so much shit, man. It's like we've been doing no, he's gonna have to podcast get for he'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, he is. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> we've been doing this podcast for almost three years and this guy is like, come on. That man. microphone was free. <laughs> It was, and he still has it. That was like, like I lent it to him. <laughs> what, nigga? You have that microphone upgraded. was always a we, temp. 
we're almost in year three of this podcast, and you have not upgraded your fucking shit. That Are you we need really in year three of this podcast? No. Almost. We start. Bro, year we three. started. We started in uh, 2020. Oh wow! Yeah, God you're right. Damn. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. It is crazy. It it also Ew. makes me I'm like it it makes me realize like how uh only doing an episode of, uh doing one episode a week it, it takes forever for the numbers to get up there because I'm like damn we're only like it feels like we've been doing this for so long I feel like we should have like 300 episodes or something but it takes yeah, yeah, so it's many only years like for that to happen something. Yeah. If, yeah. if we did even if we sacred did symbols episode. we're only even sacred symbols we're not even to 300 I don't think we're we're still like 220 something. Um, hmm. And you guys are like doing. That, uh, so, when did you start doing two uh, shows a week? It wasn't always. Well, was it? Uh, yeah, no, that was. I mean, that was pretty early on, but not, mm. not immediately. But those aren't like numbered episodes, you know. Like those, you uh, know. It, we've definitely done over oh, three hundred like, sh- episodes, but I see. they're not like we haven't done three hundred episodes of the main show. What the fuck is going on? I see. Why is my watch going crazy? Who's texting me? I don't Shut know, up. Some weird people. What are you, a friend? Gross. Anyway, is it, you wanna... is it is a uh... well before, yeah, before, yeah, we, before yeah, we go into that. questions? God of War came out. Yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good so it's, far. It's pretty it's, damn it's, good so far. Really enjoying it's, it. It's, it is. It's very. It's very good. Um, there's a. I'm I'm not, we're not going to spoil anything here, obviously, because um, very first solid of all, intro I, again, like usual. Yeah, very good intro. Um, it, it's it's really good. It's definitely worth playing. It's too early to really say how I feel about it because I'm only like two hours in. But I will say I can already tell like it's going to be very, very good. I can see why it's getting Game of the Year nominations. I, I'm already feeling like there's no way. that like, I, I can't possibly imagine that this game is going to blow my mind in the same way that Elden Ring did. But... It's definitely going to give it a run for its money for a lot of people, and I, I, I bet the Game Awards are going to be fucking toxic as hell this year. So, uh, looking forward to that. I'm actually going to the Game Awards this year, which is fucking dope. I'm really excited. Oh, really? One of my, yeah, one of my homies got tickets, and he's taking me and one of our other friends, so it's going to be fucking wild. I'm going to try to sit next to Kojima. <laughs> You're going to try to sit next to <laughs> Kojima? What if he looks at me and he's like, I want you to be in my next game, and I'm like, down, yes. He's going to be like, you have... you. You, you and Norman Reedus. You guys are going to be my be flagship people. <laughs> Tom gonna Sweeney be and Norman, Norman Reedus. Reedus' horse. Tom you're gonna be Sweeney his, and you're gonna be, Norman Reedus. I'm going to be the new what, main character in Death Stranding. It's just, it's just called that. No, it's not even called that. It's just called Tom Sweeney and Norman Reedus. That's the new game. The game Tom Sweeney <laughs> and Norman Reedus. My life changes radically. Ra- I have that kind of personality, but I would just be so It's like, oh, yeah. Like, what's up, guys? Like, I got to leave the podcast. I'm I'm the new flagship character for 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 Hideo Kojima's new game. Like uh, it's me. I you know like I can't tell you much now, but all I'm gonna tell you guys is that like I, I'm gonna be in a game. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm I don't in know like why I, they had to, to put so many mocap balls on my penis. Where, I don't know what they're gonna go for. But where uh, is <laughs> <laughs> where is the Game Awards? Is that is that in LA? Same place it always is. Convention Center. Anaheim? Oh, is that, is, it's LA, at the, the LA, LA Convention one. Center? Yeah. It's never always, always there. there. No, that's not true It's been at all. there the last it's... three years, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but not all. Like, e- oh. E3 is always at the LA Convention Center, but, like, the Game Awards have been in, like, various locations. I think, um... I feel I like the is... Game Awards have been in various places, but I feel like the con I shit, no like, the... I have no fucking idea. Because bigger... really... I remember no, the e... last few have been there. Well, no, E3 the last... E3 is one always... Of the, one of the, one... One of the oh, ones Diego? previously wasn't there, because it was digital. I remember that. C- conventions are, are not ago. yeah but oh, game awards aren't a convention it's just a show um, there's one side for the conventions yeah, like there's a, it's usually during um during like la comic-con it's that's happening and then the convention that is being set up for the game awards usually that's pretty cool oh, yeah those yeah those are definitely two separate entities but uh because they're to separate entities Comic-Con. but they always like one happens on this side and one happens on that side of the same like nice. structure i see which is dope. I'm excited to go. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm a fucking. I'm a, I've never. I've it. never had the desire to go to a game award show. It, or not even just a award show in general. It's always seems so. Yeah. Fake. I hate <laughs> how fucking fake it is. I hate it. I just hate. It's I hate a, like the the scripted fucking. Like, I don't mind like award shows. They're cool. Like as far as the concepts of winning awards for like and having getting accolades, um, accolades and achievements. But like the stupid shit that usually people say before they read the names. I want to like die. 
because of how stupid All it is. All the dumbass jargon. To put, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. I hate that stuff. And then um, I will say the Game Awards is better for at least the acceptance, acceptance speeches because people are pretty – it seems pretty candid. And like uh, – who is the fuck? Yeah, that, that uh, fucking Yos- that? Joseph Fer- Joseph Ferris. Yes, the, the, yes. the, the, the guy. Crazy. That guy is one of my favorite people in the industry. Probably my favorite person. Because uh, yeah, he he just he made it takes two and then just went up on stage. He was like, "What did he say? Fuck the Oscars or something?" That was so yeah. something. <laughs> but uh, he was all drunk. I, uh, that guy's awesome too. That guy's like really good at making it takes two is amazing as a video game. But I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's Come just a weird. Switch. It is a weird environment that that whole thing. Like I, I remember going to E three for the first time, and I was like, I'm glad I went, but also like I would never go to this again, probably. Same thing with uh, like LA Com- like Comic Con. Like my girlfriend really wants to go to Comic Con. She knows how much I'm invested in that like culture, but like I don't want to go there because I know it's not what I like. That's not what I'm there for. You know, like I I am there for like the comics. And like the cool well, art, that's, and all that's the only stuff. reason but it's very I do movie go, based actually. now. It's no, it's not like oh, that anymore. I see, though. I see what you... it's, it hasn't mm. been like that for a long time. Then like 2010, like it hasn't mm. been like about well, like the real like the vendors with selling comics or like all these card games. Stuff like that. I got I gotta disagree a little bit because that's was my favorite time to get like. Fucking fifty percent off fucking graphic novels that I've been waiting. Oh to get. no, they they exist, and right? They're there. They exist. They have a presence there, but they're not the main focus of what it used to be anymore. It used to be well, all. I, that. I feel like that's just San Diego. I feel like that San Diego Comic Con is all like, oh, everybody go to Hall H and see movie shit. But I feel like, like that's no, that's no, that's SD Sound. That's the biggest one, you know. I went to right. my Comic Con once, and it was very cool. It was it was more evenly split. Like it had like a bunch of D and D shit, and a bunch of like Warhammer and all that stuff, and like when, cards when and like to, a bunch of cool things. When did you go to New York City? Comic-Con? 14. 14. Uh, I went. I went. Um, I went with Jalen, right? 20, 2013 with Jalen, right? I didn't go uh, with anybody. I went. I went. Well, I, no, no, I went with my my cousins. That was like 2012, I think, uh, that I went. I went because yeah, because 14. it was and it was amazing. Yeah, it was cool. I liked it. It was it was in October, if I remember correctly, mm-hmm. and it was uh, October. it was before I remember because it was before Halo Four came out, and I remember they were giving out the post like because Halo Four came out on Election Day that year, and it was like the big presidential mm. election. So like they had like these like vote posters with Chief on it, and I got it signed by a bunch of people. That was, New York City Comic Con's dope, or at least from what I remember. That was a long time ago. That's ten years ago now. Holy shit! But uh, it's always but looked it, cool to me. It's, Whenever it's, I see people, it, it looked better than like LA Comic Con. For it, example, it's, it, New York is New York's cool more comic it? book culture. That's why. That's a, that's what New York is. New York is like that comic yeah. book geekdom culture is New York. Like mm-hmm. that but area also, of New York it's in. Yeah, oh, that, that area specifically, like well, also that that the Javits. Yeah. Uh, that that that. That venue is like crazy because it's like it's really big, but it's also really compact in a way that like nothing is so far that it's like it's not like E3 where it's like, oh, my God, I have to I have to go through this fucking maze and I have to it's almost like going through an Ikea when you're at L.A. or at the L.A. Convention Center. But like the Jacob Javits Center is just big. It's open and it's like across the street from everything because it's the city. Yeah, you go um, to the drive center. You can go like you can get a bunch of pizzas from like Joe's over there. It's really cool. Um, the mm-hmm. uh, reason I liked it is because of the fact it was just it was just very. It felt very. It felt like a Comic Con opposed to like a film expose, you know, with some mm. comic stuff. That's where I would want to go. But now it's just not like that anymore. It's it's film. It's like go see the trailer for this new Marvel movie, and I would like to see that. That's cool because I enjoy those movies still. You know, I'm unlike most people that willing to admit I would, it. I enjoy it, but I, that's you, not you, why I'm there though. Go check, because uh, I feel like that, that just all sounds like, because every, every time I would go to, like, L.A. or one, I don't even know if WonderCon's a thing anymore. I think maybe. That, it's just, L.A. Like, Comic Con now. I think it's it morphed in L.A. Comic Con, right? Yeah. So, because uh, when I would, I would specifically go for two reasons. To meet a handful of people that, like, oh, that, you know, they're going to be there signing shit or taking pictures or whatever. Buying cheap-ass fucking comics and then merch that are exclusive only there. Like, say, One Punch Man just to come out. And they weren't selling One Punch Man merch anywhere other than fucking Japan. So then they had like some Saitama shit there that I bought from there. I thought that was really fucking dope. You know, but I, 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 I always go and I always get cool shit. Like I was like, yeah. the, the WonderCon is smaller. It's that smaller and shit, it's really. nice. But like the, the, that's I will say, one thing. I, I want to point you on to something that maybe you would uh, actually like. Uh, this place has been up since I was born. It's called Frankensons. I'm it's going there this weekend ministry. actually, literally. 
Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah, dude, I've been going there since I was twelve, and they oh, yeah, I, better I, venue. I keep hearing it's about way better that. Now. It's, it's dope, man. It's in, um, it's in um, what's it called? I it's met in, uh, Hogan there Indus one time. Indus, 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 City of Industry. City of Industry. Yeah, I've been meaning to go. I've, been going I, there. I've never. It's. I never had a chance. It's way. It's a way better experience now, bro. It's way the the, the new venue Huge, that they moved to. It's bro. way better. It's a the Costco. old one was fucking ass. Oh and shit! In the summer, it was fucking. It was just. It was sweat and balls. Yeah, especially think, since like half of it was all like um just like MTG and shit and like yeah. fucking. So it would be just the smelliest people in the summer. Because <laughs> I think our, <laughs> our friend, uh, our mutual friend uh, Joe, uh, or or Jalen, it might have been. They both, we all went. Me, Joe, Jalen, uh, Elliot, uh, Lily went to. We dragged her along. We all went um, nice. like in the summertime. It was when you were just about to move out. You had went back home and you were coming back over here. And you were like, oh, we're going this weekend. You're like, I can't. I'm leaving on Monday or something. Hmm. So we went. And I got we to check weekend. that place out because I've heard like. Yeah, people in the SoCal area. I've good. seen. I've it's seen amazing. like some of the stuff. Like they sent me like Jalen was sending me pictures of some of the stuff they got. I'm like, this is dope. Um. But where, where's every it? fucking city? week, bro? C- city yeah. of industry. I I I said so. I got like an idiot. I got into Digimon because I fucking hate. I currently hate the Magic the Gathering, right? So I got into Digimon <laughs> card game, and then my friend was like, "Dude, you got to go there because there's this whole thing called TCG Alley, and there's a whole like wall, like all oh, towards the back. The whole wall from the beginning of the place to the end of the place is just trading card games." And they're right. selling like like one set of like if you need like what card do you need I need like four X card one two three four right there for like a reduced price and it's yeah, wild so I'm gonna do that it's this the, weekend it's the one thing that I really miss um, about uh, living in SoCal because I would go there pretty frequently and just grab stuff they usually have even um, pretty I don't know if because the food changes quite a bit but like they would have some decent tacos in the front too the tacos um, and the hot dogs in front are bomb the hot dogs right, are wild. So. So like it's 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 a great experience, especially for people that like say they don't like the they maybe they have the social anxiety from going to those really huge conventions, and this shit's running like every Wednesday and Saturday, so you can just fucking go like come whatever. with us, Chris. We'll just come with us. We'll all go together. Uh, We're going Saturday morning, I think. Okay, yeah, I'll be I'll yeah. be free Saturday. Just that's a bitch of a drive though. To, to, that's a bit uh, that's a bitch of a that's a bitch of an Uber. I mean, oh, oh yeah, right. No, right. That explains why that explains. I'm not going right. over. I'll drive or something. Right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just let me know. Uh, gotcha. Let me know. We're on the podcast. Going. We're not. I forgot. This is not a conversation baby. amongst our friends. <laughs> that's that's we're, yeah, yeah. we're selling it. We're selling it for. Hey, there, we got some SoCal listeners. Sponsor, that are probably sponsor. Going yeah, us, hey, man, hey man, hey man, hey man. You know what? If you see us at Frankenstein's, if you see it at Franken, if if you're on the page, if you're listening on Patreon feeds, and you see us at Frankenstein's on Saturday. You know, pull up a sale going on, dude. The free feeds, you'll miss us because we are already gone. Maybe you should but, uh, pay and you'll be able to hear oh, this stuff should and be see giving us. Before, a few dollars. Oh my god, I can't fucking believe this. I can't believe I forgot to mention this. So we'll, we'll yeah. I'll, I'll do like a, a little Cliff Notes thing about this before we move into questions. But everybody, if you're interested in the games industry at all, if you're interested in, in nerd culture at all, heavily suggest everybody goes to uh, Mick Gordon's Twitter account right now. Um, and oh, looks at oh yeah because the shit that is going on between uh, Mick Gordon and id software is crazy it is it is some of the most insane shit that I have ever seen I and heard a little bit it's about really, it really it's really we- really well organized like Mick did a really good job I, I feel weird saying his first name because we know a person named Mick and that's never been true before in my life before this but you know he he organized this like real like this in-depth like medium post about everything that went wrong like id just di- he, <laughs> id did not pay this man for 11 months <laughs> and it was his sole source of income and then they and then they ended up using music that they rejected and then refused to pay for and then it, 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 all this crazy shit like th- that's just like scratching the surface but uh right. marty stratton the uh, the head of uh or the, the studio director of id software is like he seems like a psycho. Like if 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 any of this is true, and I'm I, and I'm inclined to believe it is because he has a lot of uh, receipts, as it as it were. Uh, fucking crazy stuff. Uh, so go over and show your support for Mick Gordon because he's a fucking legend. Uh, did the soundtrack for obviously Doom, Doom Eternal, Prey, 2017, a bunch of other things. Fucking crazy musician, and uh, that's fucked. 
I don't know why you would <laughs> fuck over. I don't know why you would fuck. Like, if you make Doom, like, why would you fuck over Mick Gordon? That is uh, crazy. Stuff like that doesn't make any sense to me at all. That is like 50% of the reason why that game is so big. Is the I fucking agree. soundtrack. People just don't care. People just, people in corporations, people just don't give a fuck. Like, you, like we always assume that corporations will do what's right. And they don't no, every don't time. Yeah, <laughs> It's just more of it like there's these these obvious things that you shouldn't do. That's why at first when it came to uh, Bayonetta three, we believed, I believed yeah. Helena yeah, Taylor. Yeah, I believed her because it just made sense that like sometimes like this is so absurd. Why would you do this? And then that that turned out to be a little bit iffy. But this one seems a lot more plausible and like there's actually not just a stupid fucking twitter uh video right there's actually an in-depth explanation of what's going down and fucking yeah. uh uh what's the what's what do you call it it's not called uh not blackmail it's the other thing when you're trying to pay somebody off trying to sweep things under the rug whatever you would call that like that type oh, yeah, of shit yeah, yeah, where right. it's just like so shady uh, like bro how did it even get there? a gag order <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it, it, it really is insane. Like they offered him six figures to shut up, but Mick was like, "Fuck that! I'm <laughs> I'm 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 gonna tell everybody that this is fucking happening." So uh, props to them, him bro. because he's a fucking yeah. Mick Gordon's a legend. Like that, like that Doom that Doom 2016 soundtrack is fucking some of the best shit ever. Literally, um, and hype. I hope somebody and, um uh, uh makes him a GoFundMe so he can like like yeah, I, I hope fuck, someone like, just does if, it. If, or you, you know, hopefully. They don't. Uh, I, I mean, we'll we'll see how this shakes up. But uh, oh, right, right, right. right. Yeah, well, you know. Hope, hopefully, they don't. Hopefully, id software and, and and Bethesda doesn't fucking crack on him because I, I feel like that would be like a bad look. Uh, mm. Not what they need right now. Um, I don't know, man. That's that's just like some of the. St- I read through the entire document. And there are so many points where I was just out loud. I was like, "What the fuck." It is crazy. Like, imagine, like, they were, they were like, okay, we need, uh, I think it was, I can't remember the exact number, but it was, it's close enough that I'm, uh, that I'm going to be conveying here. It's like, we need two new fully mixed tracks every two weeks, uh, for the next three years. <laughs> and then they Jesus threw, Christ. like, the, and then they threw, what? like, 50% like more than 50% of it away and then they ended up and they're like oh we, we can't pay you for those because we're not using them and then they ended up using them and then they still didn't pay it and then they were like we'll give you some money if you shut up <laughs> and that's not even like the, that's just the one that's the easiest to explain there's so many other things it's like go go look into it if you're interested it is well worth a read I think because it's fucking insane and it shows it's a it's a nice glimpse into just corporate uh I don't know, just like corporate negotiations and why you don't, typically speaking, unless you're working with like really, really close friends or you're working in like a really small capacity, never, ever do work without a contract. Never do that. Right. You know? Especially if you're working for a fucking corporation. Get that shit in writing. Yeah. Yeah, Get that shit in writing because they'll fuck you over, man. They're, they're, they're totally, they every time. they're totally fine yeah. doing it. Uh, to get to a certain anyway. level, you got to step on some toes sometimes, you know. So you oh shit! Uh, this is this is a bit of breaking. This is real quick. Tom Holland signed a new uh, signed officially signed a contract to MCU for the next Spider Man trilogy. He's smart. They're doing an, another smart trilogy. guy. Of course they are. The story's not even close to done yet. I mean, He's, it ain't uh... close to done. But once once you hit once you what, you, you know how the Spider Man franchise have gone live. <laughs> you know, it just I mean, I just, feel like, a, I just feel like it's a curse. He's at he's he did the three he did the three right he did he did do the three, three but it's like it's never there's never been a four you know we'll so. see he's he's right but he's he's smart he knows the what he's ending, doing he's like the ending I'm of fucking... the last one <laughs> no what I he, mean well, I would too well what yeah I would do like he's he's like because he's already made it very clear that he just wants to retire and have he just wants to have a family and just you know what i mean like he's just like he's he's yeah. super fucking smart he's like i'm gonna make a boatload of money being spider-man for the next like however many years and then i'm and gonna then, marry zendaya and then i'm gonna then, yeah, make everybody mad pie zendaya and then yeah yeah i'm, I'm gonna, gonna get her pregnant have kids with her make everybody else mad and, yeah, and then, and that's and then it. i'm gonna be, be happy and then, yeah i'll be happy for the rest of my life i won't have to work ever because i'm fu- i've been spider-man for 20 years <laughs> or whatever the fuck however <laughs> yeah, long he's gonna be doing it 
Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's he's a fucking smart guy. Like I don't I don't. Bro, it's gonna be to all. the point where he's already been like Spider-Man a... for almost ten years. Isn't that crazy? Dude. Yeah. What was it? Fifteen. Uh, um, Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen was the first. Uh, was Civil uh, War? Civil War? Fifteen. Was 15? Fifteen was Civil War. Yeah. Um, wow, that's crazy. I remember. I remember. That's I remember because weird. <laughs> I remember because I was still <laughs> in weird. New York at that time, and that's how I know. It's like because I remember I saw it with that's my so uh, fucking with my weird, niece man. I don't even nephew. think about that shit. Yeah, okay. ten so, years, bro. Damn, he looks different. Years. People are like, he looks the same. I'm like, I don't think he looks the same at all. He's like, a, he's like a older man now. I mean, I he guess I would have to go still. back and watch because uh, he's a young looking guy in a while. Yeah, of course. He looks like a, he still looks like a baby compared to how old he actually is. Yeah, he looks young yeah. still, but like in like he had no Zendaya's, features yet. He looks Zendaya's featureless. Zendaya's a fucking cradle robber. She's fucking she, she's <laughs> doing some. That's what she looks like. She looks she's dating some fucking some, no, Zendaya, some dudes she, she shouldn't be dating. I I watched Euphoria, so like she looks young as fucking Euphoria too. But she looks kind of young in general to me. Because she's always playing younger people, but she gets they he has both a younger, look pretty. Face. They, 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 they both she, just generally look young. Uh, her, her fucking attitude does like the way that she carries herself doesn't scream oh yeah, youth definitely. to me though. That's I guess that's what throws me off. But she does she, look young. If you're just looking at her skin, you're just looking at her. She looks young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, they're so. yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, whatever. I like her, I like him, Tom Holland. Cheerio. You know, I, like, I love him. I like right? tall women and misogyny. They also, Go they also, now. the way Go they ended then. the last movie, they have the potential to make some great Spider-Man shit. If they yeah, just well, I, keep it over dude, here. But dude, at the same I, time, it's like, I don't Spider-Man know what they're going to do. Spider-Man 6. They're going to go they're, back in time. And fucking Tobey Maguire is gonna be old enough to play Uncle Ben. Stop. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> there if has Toby was Uncle Ben. That would be crazy. They're just gonna make him be Uncle Ben. <laughs> we gotta kill you, been... Toby. I'm sorry. He's like, I'm fine with it. I'm there fine hasn't with been... it. I'm fine with you guys killing me. <laughs> there hasn't been an objectively. There hasn't been a great Spider-Man film for about 18 years. So I, I don't know if they're really gonna do much of anything. Like it's a solid premise, but they'll find some way to fuck it up because it's. It's Marvel. Oh, yeah. I don't think they'll fuck because it up in it. I don't, I don't... I'm not making it. That's why. <laughs> Simply because I'm not making it. That's why. <laughs> no, I, I just mean, that would be that would be nice. No, I don't there's... even feel. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I, I just I... The, the Marvel movies are just they're fine. Like they're I I I've, I've, I I've forgotten. Way. I have genuinely forgotten the overwhelming majority of them, and it's and, and ones that I really liked. By the way, that I've just totally yeah. like they've just completely slipped out of my memory entirely like the ones that i would say the one all the ones i really like i remember entirely the ones i don't like i think all of them are fine the worst one is still pretty fine it's like oh, this is all right i guess it's not right. a bad experience Which, yeah 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 you know like, like I, I would I watch them again you wouldn't watch them again though exactly you know like like i think thor thor 2 is like one of the worst ones to me right and i was like oh this is fine i guess i'm, not, I'm never gonna watch it again but I'm not like leaving the film, the movie offended, you know. Like I'm not like I can't believe how bad this was. Opposed to like yeah. what movie did I see that I was just like I can't believe how bad the movie was, and like I, I sat through it. it. Was like uh like Sausage Party or some shit. Oh, this movie's fucking awful. When I watch <laughs> this, you know, like this is a fucking awful film. Or like New Mutants from um, from fucking Fox. Like this is a fucking disaster. Did you I see? I hate that I was you, here. Did you see that or, they're like, making Transformers? Did you... <laughs> did, yeah. I didn't know did, that, man. Did you see that they were doing like that sauce? We talked about the sausage party sequel before, yeah. but like the fact yeah, that the did. fact that the fact that people they were, they were just like, oh yay, and it's just like, do you not remember that they like really underpaid their animators and like did all sorts of like really fuck shit? Like, are, did everybody just forget this because it's been like yes. a, more than five years and everybody forgets things in sequence? I don't yes. know. It's fucking insane. <laughs> but uh, uh it's uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, I just think. He's he's good as Spider Man. Shout just, out to I just Tom wish... Holland. He's the best Spider Man. Wish... I think he's the best actor we've had as Spider Man. But I think that obviously the movie that no, Raimi I don't so made for two, I hundred percent think he's better than Tom um, Holland. No, Andrew Garfield than, uh, is better. Maguire. I think Maguire. I think Maguire. Andrew Garfield is, is, the is worst no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Because what you said, the words of what you said, he's the it... best person to play the character in both facets so far we've had. I think that's it. I guess because I, I like I, I like know. his I like his joyfulness I like his young nature I think they're they've messed up a bunch of stuff with Spider Man this but I think like I like Holland the most so far I think he's like oh this is my favorite I just so feel far. nothing for him to be honest I feel nothing for him yeah but at me, the though. same time it's like they're I like all him gonna be worse than Yuri 
They're all going to be worse than Yuri Langsdorf, okay. you know, who's doing him in the fucking game. So it's just unfortunate, you know? <laughs> it's just going to be, oh, the, man. The, 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 <laughs> thing that's, the thing that's strange about it is that I like Tom Holland more than I – like, I like you Tom like Holland, but Parker. I don't like – I don't care at all about his Spider Man. And when I was a kid, I didn't like Tobey Maguire at all. I, I hated Tobey Maguire actually, but I loved his Spider Man. And I don't know how to decide. I don't know how to fucking. And Andrew Garfield, I was like, I liked Andrew Garfield, but his Spider Man was just kind of like, ah. Um, but I, that I don't universe know. Sucked. It, that yeah. universe was really bad. Those yeah, movies were just it was bad. A, it's not his we're fault not, at all. Like, we're, like, we're not, were, like, I'm glad we can admit that as a society, that it's not Andrew's right. fault. Because everyone, like, blamed, Andrew everyone right, right, blamed Andrew at first. Everyone blamed Andrew at first because people don't understand how movies are made and how, like, actors have such a little control over what they do in films. Like, I think people don't, people have, just don't get that. And I think they yeah, still that, never going to get that. An amazing actor can have a shit movie. That should be all the proof you need. Like, or, someone <laughs> like, like, someone like Robert Pattinson was fucking, um, was Edward Cullen's. Think about that. Just like take a moment and think about how good of an actor our Pattinson is. And he was Edward Cullens because someone said act like this. And he had to act like that. He had to. That's just the role you're in. You know, you're like, I yeah, go it's, be it's brooding usually... and weird and climb a tree and be a stalker. And he's like, I guess <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> It's it's Something usually the it's usually ass. comes down to director. I mean, sometimes acting choices can be a little fucking bizarre. It's but, writing and directors um, for first generally, and foremost. They're the most important. Yeah, well, I, well, I would argue it's the director, a director uh, like mostly. Yeah, because because the, the, the writing. Or, go ahead. Sorry. I think writing. Well, oh no no no, no go ahead. No, it was just like you know, you just to, to your point. Like, I think you, we were going the same way that the director needs if the takes are shit, it needs to be acknowledged. It needs to right. be. It's like one of those things. Like sometimes, actually, um, I was asking uh, Jonathan Young about like uh, I just dropped some some power metal song. And at first, I was like, I don't even think I'm going to sing this. Uh, I ga- so he gave me some notes back. And apparently, one thing that I was doing really wrong is I wasn't emoting enough. He was like, it's all about, like, emotion and, like, exaggeration. And that's something that, like, you feel stupid while you're doing it. But it translates well in the music when it's all said and done. And it's the same way for, like, voice acting and shit. You got to be, like, incredibly animated. Even though you, you may be, think that you're doing too high. You're, like, dial to 11 when it, it, it translates well when it's all said and done. And that was kind of something it's, that, like, I was like, oh, no shit. Right? So, like, when you have someone who knows what they're fucking doing and then they point you in the right direction, it's so important. It doesn't I matter, know. like, right? Like, it's better. Yeah, I think, to, it's, it, I think yeah. direct. Oh, sorry. So directors, I think they have a lot of the directors. The style, right? The style of the acting. That's what directors think. They, they they add the style to films. But I think if something is written badly, it can't. The, the, a director can't save it. They can try. I disagree. <laughs> like, actually, I, I I think direct. I think writing. It, it's 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 all it's all layered. It's right. Like if if it, if you have a script about like some guy that's coming in his face for three hours straight, right? No matter who directs that film, they can't make that good. You, like you can't. Right, right. You, that, you make the decision to. <laughs> you make the decision to re. That is, you are changing that shit on the fly. As yeah, a director. directors d- directors can rewrite. The, like directors they often. They, directors often will 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 rewrite. There's a lot of stuff that's added into the script just because it happens on set, and the director's like, let's keep that, let's put that in. That's that's um, freaking Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick had ass fucking. He's the fame. He's the most famous rewriter of all time. He's like, oh, here's a, a movie based off a book that's already had that we have this, and he's like, nah, I want the black guy to die. And it's like, <laughs> what okay. the black guy to die? Hey, right. Shelley, I'm gonna I'm gonna break Shelley Duvall's brain so that I can get the <laughs> shot perfect. The, uh, the it's, it's I know right. That's that's it, like it is that's kind of real, weird bro. That's real. That's it's a real. Weird thing, like a, it's a it weird is thing real. That, that happened. It, it, it is real, but at the same time, it's like that's pr- that is probably why that movie is as big of a touchstone as it is it's kind of like how uh people were like rockstar oh man rockstar games they 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 put people through like crunch and and shit and it's like yeah because what you got out of that is a fucking masterpiece like i'm not saying it's like necessarily right or like that it should especially that it should be corporately mandated that like oh you're uh you know you're pressured in some way to work fucking 90 hours a week like that's obviously fucked but at the same time like you're not making a masterpiece on a nine to five, like that's just not happening. Like it's not possible to do that. It's there are nine possible. to five games, and you know what those are? Nine to five games are like Smurf cart. 
You know, no, or like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I think I think you'd be facilitated properly and make a game correctly if you're given the proper no. tools. I think you can, bro. I think, you can. Really, I think no, what no. happens that it but takes the thing so is they far, haven't, it hasn't stickers? happened often. But you're right. I think it. No, what, what what I'm saying is there is no such thing. Like Insomniac makes a big. We talk about this on Sacred Symbols every now and again. Where Insomniac, uh, obviously, uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Spider Man PS4, uh, Sunset Overdrive, those guys. They make a big point to say, like, we don't crunch on our games. And they're great. And they come out often. And I don't believe them. <laughs> because I don't think <laughs> that... you. I, I believe that they don't enforce crunch. I believe that they're not being like, hey, you better fucking... We, we gotta fucking stay here. Everybody has to sleep at their desk today for the next... Uh, Everybody has to sleep at their desks for the next three months so we can get this Spider-Man game done. I believe that's not happening. But you mean to tell me not a single person in that office is staying later of their own accord because they just care about the shit that they're doing? Because but that's they're not fucking exactly insomniac? the same thing. You're that right. Is, you're that right. is what that is. Crunch, no, but that is the same thing. Well, no, crunch it's not. Is, yes, it is. That's what crunch is. Because Crunch you, is working harder and longer than you have to because you understand that what you're doing is going to be fucking dope and you want it to be as as good as it possibly can be. That is what crunch is. Because I crunch on my video on videos all the time. I crunch on all sorts of shit and no one's forcing me to do it. It's just I care. And that's there's a difference between corporate exactly mandated crunch. crunch and okay. it is crunch though. Okay. It's just a matter of like people don't know how to talk about it because I think most people and maybe this is this whatever i'm not, i don't care if you're offended by this i'm sorry but like the the reason that i think a lot of people don't know how to talk about this is because a lot of the people writing about crunch are in fields that are not creative they are they are they're they're covering news and they think like oh yeah well it's not hard to write a news article i i just do a little bit of research and then like when it's done it's done because that's what fucking news is but when you're creating things there's no such thing as done there's no such thing as a game that is completely finished. Every game could have used another day, another week, yes, another month, course. more time. Right. There's always something. Everything. There's always Art something like you're right in general. Yeah, yes, whenever you create something, always, like you look back at it, like I can do better than that I'm doing right now. Like, yeah, I look at. That's yeah. why you can't look at your scripts after you finish them because you'll be right. like, oh, I got, I, I gotta do more. That's why you can't yeah. do that. You, Ex- exactly. I have a million scripts that are just like sitting there, and I'm just like, I'm never, I'm never gonna do these now because I'm gonna look at them. I'm gonna have to rewrite them. But like. You know, there's always, like, some bug or some, like, oh, that lighting doesn't look exactly the way I wanted. Or, or like, even just, like, oh, we didn't put an animation in here. And nobody even noticed that it was missing because it didn't need to be there. But, like, oh, I wanted to get it in there, but we didn't have time. Like, when you're working in a creative field, you just want it to be good. Because what you're – especially if you're in the games industry when, you know, a high Metacritic score means bonuses for you and fucking everybody around you. So I fucking promise you that there are people crunching at Insomniac. They're not I, 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 forced okay, to but crunch. Yeah. They're not the saying you've they're descri- not crunching. The way you've described it. So your description of it, I agree that that exists. I agree. I agree. And I think I actually think there's nothing wrong with that. Like voluntarily, the voluntary no, overtime. Like if you want to do that. I think that's fine. As fa- as long think- as you're not required to do it. As long you as you're not. Yes, but at the same time, the f- your uh, your overseas need to be like no. You need to also be like no sometimes because what happens is when you get it would that, be when nice, you get so you that don't get a heat, fucking stroke. When you <laughs> so get you don't that get a stroke heat, from we, we we all create things. When you get that heat, when you're creating things, there have been times where I've been writing for D and D campaigns or like writing things out that I really enjoy, like some like like my my personal like writing exercises that I forget to eat. Like straight up, I don't eat right, food right. I've, and like i like my girlfriend calls me it's like it's been 6 p it's like 6 p.m honey you've been writing for how long like oh like maybe an hour or so it's like dude you were writing when i called you at like fucking 10 a.m and it's like eight like eat and i'm like oh i'm not hungry because you just you you'll you'll go too hard people do that when you start creating people, when the, the yeah, neurons right, start firing right, right. you go too hard so like but, you gotta make sure yeah. that someone official will be like I, no that's no more yeah, probably, but like, th- there was also just like I don't know, man. Like you, The Last of Us Part Two. Like, it's not that's not a game that I love really all that much. But Naughty Dog is a big. It, it, that's a big um, studio. That's a big game. That was that game came out to critical acclaim, and it came out to critical acclaim because a lot of people who were working on it probably cared a lot about getting that game out the door in a way that was like really, really memorable and really, really awe inspiringly good. And now those people, man, if you were in, imagine you're an animator. 
and you are credited in The Last of Us. The negotiating power that that has, yeah, your, your life, the life is you want to live is way different. Like you, are, you are highly sought after at that point. Like that is that you could go anywhere you want if you have that on your credit, and that's why people crunch too because, like, you know, they don't want to be attached. Sometimes they just don't want their names attached to a fucking botched project. That's right. Um, yeah, so that's I don't point. know. It's it's a it's a gray area that I feel like a lot of people don't really. And it's again, it's just because like news writers don't they're not creative people. <laughs> And they don't know what it's like to crunch on things, I don't think, really. Not not in a creative right. way. I don't think they get it. But anyway, we've uh, we've gone on long enough about random shit. Let's, yes, uh, let's move some on to some questions. questions. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Sweeney, quickly. There's a Twitter account called at Sweeney's Guide. Go there and scan the code to see the video. It's not a scam. Wrote in. That's his name. Uh, good day, ass eaters. What was that one special moment you gained? Con- what was what is this? What was that one special moment you gained consciousness? For me, I was running around with measuring spoons filled with water, and I suddenly gained the mythical ability to think about yesterday. And now I'm cursed to contribute to society. Happy munching. I do not remember the 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 first day I could remember things. That's an insanely good memory to have. Do you remember, remember that? First- I don't remember that. I remember the first day I really felt love. Like, the first, like, I remember, like, I, like, something, like, for real, I love this. Not like I hey. like this, but I love. And it's when I helped my niece. It's no, I know it sounds super lame. And, that like, is lame as fuck. The, yeah. it's, it's super lame, but I remember holding my niece when I was, like, seven. And, like, I remember, you feel like, you're like, I like doing this, I enjoy this food. But then I remember holding hey. my niece and I was like, oh, I love this thing. And then I remember, like, oh, I really love this thing. I love That's it. That's funny. And That's I funny was like, because, ew. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because my niece was born when I was four or like five max. So when I met my niece, I remember specifically like, like, I didn't slap the baby, all right? But I, 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 I like didn't patted it on the forehead like this to see if it was like alive or real. And it started crying <laughs> and then I ran out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like, that was the, it that, by itself enough for you to do that to it. Yeah, yeah, that was the earliest memory. It. That's the earliest memory I have of uh, my niece. So, if uh, mm. I, <laughs> what is the earliest memory you have? I have, the, I have the one er- memory earliest. The earliest I memory I have, and this is real. I, I, I don't remember how old I was, but I was clearly like in baby mode. You know, like I was in diapers and I was small and I was like in car seats and stuff. And I remember. My sister and her friend, I think she had two friends with her. They were, like, looking at me, and they were, like, doing that thing where they were just, like, ooh, aw, cute little baby or whatever, and they were, like, pinching my cheeks, and I remember this. And then my sister picked me up and then handed it, handed me over. I just referred to myself as it, by the way. Uh, they, she handed me over to her friend, and I immediately grabbed her boob, and then she put me down. That is like I, I, that is go. that is actually my first memory for real. Baby ass creep, creep ass baby. Yeah, I, look, I, I was probably hungry, you know. Like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just trying. To I don't remember the snack. context. I, I don't it. remember all. I don't remember all the emotions that were tied to it. I just remember what's just your, being like, "What's your first memory, Derek? What's your first one?" Man, I I don't know which one's the earliest one, but I have like it's all around the same time. I, I lived in an apartment in Inglewood. Uh, my with my mom and dad, and my brother, and there's uh either the one where because I would see like my mom and my dad putting lotion on and stuff like that, like you know after the shower or whatever, and me I'm just like oh I gotta put lotion on too I'm a little fucking baby and I didn't understand like <laughs> what lotion really was or what it, like I fucking put it on my face and directly into my eyes, like I put <laughs> lotion in my fucking eyes and I'm screaming. And I used my dad's uh, undershirt to just try to get it out because it was fucking burning. So I remember that very vividly. Um, and uh, there, another one is just me playing Super Mario Land Two, and like I don't remember if I was playing it well or not. Like I, that's the thing. I don't really remember exactly what I was seeing. I just remember in that apartment, I have random memories around that time where I was probably like three. I was probably like three, gonna turn four or something like that. But that's I just random shit from there, like pain, video games, and um oh, 
more pain because I remember hurting my knee. Like, so I just remember significant <laughs> shit like that, like <laughs> stupid like shit like that. You remember your hurt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think for me, my first memory ever was, um, this is not sound like really fucked, but I remember it was, I think it was preschool. It was either a building block moment or there was one time we were playing in preschool. We were all playing cat, tag or something like that. And I went on the slide and some kid that was going to tag me went on the slide, came up the slide against me and I kicked him down the slide. I kicked him and he was crying. I mean, he fell down the slide. It was like maybe like five feet up, but as like a, a preschooler, that's decent. That's a decent fall. So he fell down and I went off and I kept playing, not understanding I hurt him because I didn't think I hurt him because I didn't put any energy behind. Also, I was a kid. You know, I watched Power Rangers. People get kicked all the time and they get the fuck back up. So it's just like, oh, he's fine. And then the teacher pulled me over and was like, Kingston, you did you kick like Jason or whatever? And I was like, yeah. And I, you shouldn't do it. You heard him. And I was like, I heard him. I didn't know I heard him. I'm sorry. Like me, like trying to like be empathetic, even as a kid, being like, I'm sorry. I didn't know I heard him. And the teacher being like, that's not good, Kingston. I'm calling your grandma. And I was like, I didn't know I heard him. I didn't know. I, di- I didn't know that he was hurt. And my grandma came and she was like yelling at me. She was like, why would you kick him? And I was like, grandma, I did not know I hurt him. Like, Nigga, you didn't teach me that this would hurt. <laughs> And she was just like, and she was just like, you don't do that. And I was like, I know now, but I didn't mean hurt him. I shouldn't be in trouble because I didn't mean to hurt him. He got hurt, but I didn't mean to hurt him. That's not fair. And then she yelled at me. That's why you kick. That's that's why you kick your kids. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they they don't let them know. Exactly. That's why you abuse your children. They know. I mean, for real. (laughs) I I mean, look, man. I, I. I, I, when I was young, young, I got I got the belt, you know, or the or the uh, or the, mm. the 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 sand, the, the chancla. slipper, the chancla, and the chancla, bro. but but or that didn't last chancletas. long. Chancletas is that, for Caribbeans, and I remember chancla's it for but Mexicans. That, but I didn't, um, you know, I I, <coughs> I remember it. But I feel like they stopped doing that at around a time where they would think that I might remember. You know what I mean? Where it's like, it's like, oh, he's five. We probably shouldn't, you know, or, or like he's like seven. Or, he's like seven or six. We probably shouldn't do this anymore because he'll remember. But like, I remember it didn't happen often. But like, I, I'll tell you what, I never picked fights with anybody or like punched anybody or slapped anybody or kicked anybody. I was never I never like rough towels anybody to the point where I hurt them because I understood pain very early. Uh my my last my last beating was when I was like maybe like nine nine or ten. The last time I was hit though, the last time I was hit, I remember this. It was the funniest shit ever. I was I was sixteen years old. I was already like maybe like one hundred eighty five pounds, like playing basketball, starting power forward by fucking junior year. I was already like an imposing figure. My grandma's like five three, half Hispanic, half black lady. I remember I got locked out of my house. And I had to wait in front of my house for like five hours. So I couldn't start my homework. I couldn't go to basketball practice. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't hang out with my friends. I was really upset. She came home and I was just like, I can't believe you took so fucking long. This is so stupid. I was like, this is so fucking dumb, grandma. Like, whatever. I don't want to fucking talk to you. And she was like, what did you say to me? And I was just like, this is fucking stupid. And I turned and all I just catch the sturdiest slap ever. Look up at her way bigger than she is cried ran upstairs dude <laughs> ran upstairs to my room my cousin who was there for the weekend started making fun of me all night he was like you a pussy bro she slapped the shit out of you and you ran what away color is your, what color is your friend my nose my cousin oh your co- oh it was your cousin i think so you're, oh sorry because i thought it was gonna be like a white friend that was because you know how white people are <laughs> they if if, if some if there's something like that happened if their grandma touched him the grandma's ending up in a wood chipper that, that's how they you that's know, not but like, white say, people that, that's not white people that's yeah, yeah, white yes, Americans outside of America true, outside true. of America excuse me <laughs> white people excuse. get fucked up by their dads Ex- their moms me, no. their uncles you know the house no, my- dog attacks them like everyone <laughs> beats them up outside of there <laughs> no yeah you're right no you're you're 100 percent that is absolutely in a, a white American thing like white like, white why, suburban America how dare you tell America. me to take out the trash and then they fucking like tie them up and shit <laughs> that's like, <laughs> like white suburban America that's not like white people in general like poor white folk beat the fuck out of their kids and they make them go tend the lawn afterwards like little slaves yeah, 
I don't you know. Dare I, don't, I, don't, what, what, I don't. I don't support. <laughs> you dare humiliate I, me. You know, do I don't. It. You dare you believe? You <laughs> I don't support. That uh, kid. Obviously, do I don't support beating your kids. But, oh, absolutely not. Well, what? but <laughs> and there's a key but. Mm-hmm. I do think there comes a point where at least one good slap, like so really I, I, probably I recalibrate them. I think one good slap should happen at least because I know people who have never been slapped, and let me tell you, man. Not everybody. Not everybody needs it, right? Because guarantee, not everybody this, needs this, it, this, this but I thing, can't right? help but notice. This is the thing, right? <laughs> Very often, I understand that a lot of the beatings I got, they could have been taught to me through lessons of just the simple conversation. Because I was sure. receptive. I was not dumb. You could have spoke to me. I'm like, oh, I get that. That's not cool. But sometimes people overstep. Like me cursing at my grandma, I think I overstepped. Because I was 16, I was well aware that I was being rude to her. I understood everything she did for me in my life, you know, and I overstepped. And at those moments when they, when they significantly overstep, when it's like, yo, you're out of pocket, then yeah, I agree. You deserve that. I agree. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, you know, that's a moment where you, like, give them a pop. You don't beat them savagely. You don't beat yeah, them don't like a wild dog you, ran in your house. You don't, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not like a fucking, a, a, a wolf came out, so you gotta fight it to the death, you know? No, you don't do that to your kid. Yeah. It's it's not but, like that guy who, who uh, when the raccoon was attacking his dog, he throws it down the dark staircase. You don't gotta do that. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, but you, you know. One pop out, what's it? One you know, every you know that's. I think yeah, that's fine. It's like it's a recalibration. Sometimes you gotta yeah, recalibrate yeah. the kid. You know, it's like how it's like when your TV's not working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't work anymore. That doesn't work anymore because now you saw your TV and it destroy, falls over and it, it. Di- and it dies. Yeah, you'll just destroy but it immediately. <laughs> Is that wild? How b- isn't that isn't that fucking hilarious? By the way, that like our electronics used to work better if we beat them up. Like this is. <laughs> I swear to God, this is real. But like my PlayStation Two sometimes would like. It it would like not read a disc or something, and it wouldn't be the disc's fault. It would be like the disc was like pristine, and then I would like, I would slap the top of it, and then it would work. And the same thing with my TV and like all sorts of weird shit. Like up oh, until around like maybe two thousand four, up until around like two thousand four, two thousand five, I was beating the shit out of my electronics, and they would they would just be cu- they would work again. Whatever you. I don't know what the hell that's about. Whenever your sister doesn't read the, the, the fucking cartridge, you slap the shit out of it. Hear the cartridge, you blow on it, shake it bro. violently, jam yeah, it in I there, and it, it works. I would jam I was, it in I there was, hard, bro. I was so <laughs> convinced. I was so convinced that that was like a thing that I would sometimes. And what fucked me up is that it would work sometimes. That I didn't like because that would that's a confusing reinforcement of of mis misidentified beliefs. Is Sometimes I would be trying to get something to work, and then I would st- – or, like, my my original Xbox or something. It wouldn't load something. And then I would stare at it, and I would be like, you dumb piece of garbage. Work. You dumb – you suck. You're a piece of trash. You suck. And I would verbally abuse it, and it would work. That's what that explains a lot me. about you. That- a lot about you right now. That's, that, yeah. that, you see, every, this lore, that's just a lore dump right there. It's like, oh, this means this. You know? It worked. It that's what I didn't like that because I knew that it shouldn't. I was old enough to understand that, like this probably doesn't do anything, but like I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't. I'm not a fucking electrician. I'm not a repair person. I don't know how to fix this if I could. So all I have left is to vent my frustrations with my voice, and then it would work. And I'm like, this is not okay. This is not okay. This shouldn't work. Why is it? It's kind of like what happens with your fucking hard drive or whatever, where it's like there's nothing different about this from yesterday, but for whatever Literally. reason, it doesn't. Like, it doesn't work today. It's like that shit, where it's, like, undoubtedly just, like, a random coincidence of timing. But Sometimes like, you gotta strike her, bro. Sometimes yeah. you need to hit her, bro. I have oh, definitely, 100%. like... Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to... Let's try and speedrun some of these other ones. Papa Jesus yeah. wrote in. He says, in an age full of uh, out-of-left-field crossovers, what characters and fictional universes... Uh, would you absolutely lose your shit over if you saw them together? Personally, I would love to see the Doom Slayer in a soap opera. You're out of your mind. Or Trevor Belmont is... in a tw- in a Twilight movie. <laughs> that would be wild. That would be cool. That, I would. I would. I that would, would be unfunny. That would be unfunny because it'd be like it'd be funny at first, and then I don't even when think he it would be murders funny. one, he murders one. It'd be like whoa. I don't even think it would be funny. I think it would be unironically entertaining and like probably wildly compelling. <laughs> like I feel like, like I would him, be totally into that movie. Like as a real, like film. I've recently watched Twilight. Right. 
They can't deal with Trevor Belmont. Why? They can't deal with it. I like those movies. I admit them. I like those movies, but I, I like them because they're just so they're so ridiculously bad that I like watching them with my girlfriend because it's just funny. Oh, you mean to like to like lampoon or some shit? Like oh yeah, like I don't watch them. Like oh my god, I'm engaged. Like quietly, I, you know like watching them. But they're fun say, watches. He, they I, are. I don't like those movies, but I do think the first one is entirely fine. Like I don't think there's anything really wrong with it. I actually think the first one's kind of okay. But no, it's not. The first one's yeah, the is. worst one, bro. You're one crazy. Is the, one You're is out of your one, mind. Chris, one is Chris. worse than the last one. You're Chris, the, wildin', the my last guy. one is stupid, but there are moments in the first one that are unbelievably bad. Like there's I like I watched no, the movie the, with my the whole, roommates. But that's the whole. That's the whole. That's the entire series. That's the charm of it. Like yeah, that's the charm but of like, it. But like I think the first one. I th- the reason why I think the first one's good is that it's actually directed like a fucking movie. Uh, the the rest of them were the first one's directed by the by by a very specific person, and then the rest of them are directed by somebody else, and you can kind of feel it where it's like, oh, this no longer feels like a, it, it sucks still, but it at least is directed in a way that's like fucking stylized and like interesting. It, but, it's it definitely stylized, but it's just like this is fucking out of. Like, know, like, <laughs> like, Edward's like, oh, hang on, little spider monkey. You're like my own personal cocaine. <laughs> I'm yeah, just so, the skin of so a killer. Stupid. Like, those moments are just like, yo, this is so bad. And it it's is funny bad. because my, because every girl, well, most girls that liked it when they were younger, they look back at it and they're like, how did I like this? Like, how was I, like, Lily watches that movie and she's in awe that she really enjoyed those films. It's the funniest shit ever. I mean, you're a dumb little girl, of course. I mean, exactly. you, we can all like dumb, dumb shit. Dumb shit too. Dude, I, I, I watched, I've watched Space Jam twice as an adult, and I'm like, wow. I, I don't understand why I love this so much. This movie sucks. It like it really <laughs> sucks. That's, you don't like I the tried to stars? say that. I tried to say that like when Space Jam two came out, that like Space Jam one was also not good. And people, like, <laughs> fucking lost their shit. Because I didn't grow up with Space Jam, really. Like, I watched it, kind of, but it was never, like... It, it was a movie that they played in school for me. Mm. Like, on, like, a day mm. where there was just, like, ah, there's nothing going on. Some kids are here after school. We're gonna put on fucking Space Jam in the math room. And that, that's how I saw it. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? I, and, yeah, I, 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 and I like the Looney Tunes, too. Like, I grew up with the fucking What's Opera Doc and all those, like, fucking, you know, the, those those shorts and stuff. And I was like, I like the right. Looney Tunes. But, like, what the fuck is this? Why are nah, they playing it, basketball it, it, with, like, Wayne Knight? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I don't know, man. Why is I enjoyed Newman from so Seinfeld attacking right. the Looney Tunes with <laughs> Michael Jordan? This is fucking insane. <laughs> I barely know anything about basketball. But, like, this yeah, is then fucking, this can't be it. Bill Murray shows up out of nowhere. Bill fucking Murray, bro. And I was like, what? As a kid, I'm like, what? Is it? Is this Ghostbusters? I don't understand. Like, I didn't understand what was the point. <laughs> you I didn't couldn't get comprehend it. actors. <laughs> this like, is why was he here? And what's <laughs> happening? And then uh, I remember one of the uh, the Looney Tunes says as a joke, like, "Oh, look, it's Dan Aykroyd." And I'm just like confused. And I'm. It didn't. It, I, <laughs> but I still enjoy. I still enjoyed the movie for what it was as yeah, a dumbass remember- kid. I remember thinking it was fine. Like I was just like, oh yeah, it's entertaining. Like I, I like it's it's entertaining to see the animation or whatever. But like, mm. and then I watched it again, like in my adult years, and I was like, oh my god, it's this is just good. this is not good at all. <laughs> and the second good. one is t- obviously terrible. The second one's holy shit. It's it's it's. But but I also wonder, like, like surely kids must look at Space Jam two and be like, this is awesome, right? If I was five, just like, would just I like enjoy we did, Space Jam two, right? right? Yeah, of course, yeah. probably. But then there's some things I watch, like I watched. Uh, it's weird because then there's things that I've watched as a kid That's and I watch now, and I'm like, this shit's still dope. <laughs> you know, well, like, some, it's so weird. Well, to some me. things, some things are easy. Some things are enjoyable for everybody. You know, like I right. think Looney Tune, not Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry. Anyone can watch Tom and Jerry and get a decent laugh out of it. Dude, the Gen early Z's seasons are of SpongeBob, all those sounds. early se- yeah, the early oh, seasons God, of SpongeBob, SpongeBob are also. Um, Perfect. You know, like, so I think good. a lot of those. I think a lot of those Cartoon Network shows. Like, I, I think Ed and Eddie's fucking hysterical. I, think I don't Ed like and Ed and Eddie's Ed funnier. Very much, but I, I think Ed did. and Eddie. I think Ed and Eddie is funnier now than it was to me when I was a kid because it's so I feel like, fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way about the Powerpuff Girls and stuff. Yes. Like, yeah, I think the Powerpuff Girls and Courage is, the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog. I think this gets better as I get older. Right. Because right, it's more right. out there. It's like this is an insane show that creates. 
I think Agreed. But like, or Billy and Mandy, because Billy and Mandy, because you just you just can't believe someone is as stupid as Billy. Like you never, it never sinks in that someone's as dumb as Billy. Like that the image show? of him opening the window, then jumping through the top one. That shit kills me every is, time, bro. That that show is fucking insane. Like it's that's wild. Show, like I remember. I remember thinking when I was a kid that like I really liked Billy and Mandy when I was a kid, but I remember thinking like, oh yeah, it's just another one of these. It's it's just as it's just another one of these. It's another cartoon, you know. Like I'm I'm watching it and I'm enjoying it. But then like I go back and you compare that show to all the other shows that were around it, and it's fucking. Dude, there's this. Do you remember the scene where Irwin is hiding in Mandy's locker and he's just he's licking a lime, like yes, yeah, sucking a lime. Yeah, and he's like, "Hey, hey, Mandy," and it's just like the it, and it's like, "What the fuck?" And what is it? Like, I watched this in front of my parents, and Dude, I can't same. even imagine. I can't Dude. even imagine what they were thinking. I, the I watched that episode. Mijo. I watched the episode where Billy picked his Mijo. nose, ate a booger, <laughs> and then ate his brain. And my Jamaican ass dad was like, "The rascal! What? Why you watch me, huh?" And I'm just like, Dad, isn't it funny? And he's like, Wow, oh. huh? Yeah, blood by Egypt. And I'm like, Dad, this is funny. This is funny. Is that, is, that, is that the one where he picks his nose and it, his brain is on his finger and he eats his it? brain? Yes. <laughs> so fucking insane. The concept of that, by the way, is is he's... the concept of that show is crazy because it's it's children who enslave the Grim Reaper in a limbo contest. Did you see the first episode? Limbo... That first episode yeah. is out of. Pocket, bro. That first episode's like an LSD. Like it, it's like a tr- <laughs> acid trip. Out of pocket, because the bro. art, because the art style isn't finalized yet either. It's like very much like that that pilot. Like what? It's oh, very, like, it's very grim and evil. Still, it's still mm-hmm. grim and evil at that moment before it became Billy and Mandy. Right, right, and right, then right, you right. watch it, and you're like, "What the fuck am I seeing?" And then when Billy beats him, Billy just breaks his bones and slides under the limbo bar. And I was like, "What?" the fuck there's a lot of that I too where it's like where watch there, there's a lot of that stuff in older cartoons too where like whenever mojo jojo gets beat the shit out like gets dude. beat up his brain is always hanging out and it's, it's like this is favorite, fucking dude. Bro, there's dire, one man. image he's of mojo so jojo where he's, there's one image where he's like beat up but he's like it's so funny it's like a real dead animal but it's like he's like on his side <laughs> and like one arm is above one arm is out one leg is out and one arm is other legs out and he's just lying there and i'm like it looks like a dead cat it looks like they killed a real animal and left it there. <laughs> it's like that dream that Jalen had where he was fighting, uh, what is it, with, Meowth? When Lucario killed Meowth and he turned into a real cat after he died. <laughs> it's, I, I, there's no way to explain that. Let's move on. Right, yeah. <laughs> we have to have Jalen uh, here one episode so he can explain that and then he leaves. I would love to have Jalen on. Jalen would be fucking... The, so, <clears throat> anyway... We didn't answer your question at all. But <laughs> let's try to rapid fire this. <laughs> yeah, we tried to rapid fire, but I, I, I'll be honest. I'll say like crossovers have lost their appeal to me since they became everything. Yeah, you Fortnite know, is like, a crossover, literally. For it, it's it's Fortnite, it's VR chat, Fortnite. it's it's it's, it's uh, WB's fucking that that yeah. Smash Brothers clone. Oh it's, yeah, they got yeah the LeBron James there is, fighting game. The LeBron James fighting every, game. Everything. <laughs> this is LeBron. Everything is everything now. So like, it's just kind of like the the concept of crossovers have stopped being special to the point where like, the, the reason why seeing Doom Slayer in a soap opera or Trevor Belmont in a Twilight movie isn't super exciting to me is because I can imagine that happening at this point. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like, yeah. Why, but because like, do you remember the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour or whatever? And you just watch yeah. it and you're like, what the fuck? This is crazy that this is happening. And that happened mm. like very rarely, or like, it would happen in like um. Th- Cartoon Only Network Scooby used to Doo. have these. Only in Scooby Doo. Yeah, Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, it was like Scooby Doo and the Harlem Globetrotters. And, and that's like, or Scooby Doo and Batman. That's, that was the coolest shit ever when I was little. Mm. Scooby Doo had a laugh track. Isn't that insane? <laughs> he did. It <laughs> like it needed did, it, dude. Like it yeah, needed it. Yeah. It's so funny. Like there's a live audience in a fucking cartoon. <laughs> dude, the funny shit about Scooby Doo. Have you seen how the memes of Scooby Doo's laugh being distorted has become so popular? I haven't seen that. Like, it's a bunch of, like, Scooby, like, something happened to Scooby just, because his laugh is so funny in general. That's so, like, crazy. It, it's just something like Scooby, like, gee, Scoob, those were unarmed civilians. And Scooby's like, here. <laughs> and he's a regular guy laughing at the end. 
<laughs> I don't send that to me. I want to see. That. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. Because it, that sounds like exactly the kind of thing that would break me for a whole two days. I have to see that. <laughs> uh, anyway, that reminds uh, me of, wait, 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 wait. Did, Chris, did you? Did we ever show you? Because I know uh, we did, when we did N Word Club for like two seconds, there was uh, the Who's That Pokemon. <laughs> And it looked like a chick with like a huge ass dick, but then it turns out to it's just it's a goofy. silhouette of Goofy. <laughs> that oh, so image, that? Is, bro, that I snapped laugh, at though. that image. It's, I snapped f- at that image. It was so funny because Derek Goofy's was laughing, laugh, but I was though. so mad because like, I was like, "How the f- how dare?" Because they they change the image when they reveal it. They <laughs> add shit to it. Like I'm stupid enough not <laughs> to <laughs> notice. <laughs> I was like, "Are you the, fucking serious? the fucking legs?" <laughs> <laughs> They're not a part of Goofy. There was the fucking they had so legs, they had a hat. There was no fucking hat on them. It was no fucking hat. <laughs> it's the, the fact it's that the... someone tried to hide this woman with a penis in Goofy's face made it's me so sick funny. to my stomach, dude. I was so mad. I didn't see. I, I know what that image is because I've seen go, it. <laughs> but go watch I haven't that seen again. The video. It's, it's Goofy's laugh kills me every time because it's so you can tell it's goofy but it's so bad it's so fucking funny it's the funniest thing oh my god that image I fucking oh my god, oh my god. it's so what do funny I even type to find that look up um, who's, who's that, that Pokemon, Pokemon goofy. goofy yeah that's it <laughs> you both answered in unison like it was a BBC fusion <laughs> who's that Pokemon goofy? I felt like Gogeta was talking to me um, oh yeah right, right. What oh the fuck God, is this? Oh my God, that shit killed me, bro. Oh man, I'm gonna see this and I'm gonna break the fuck down. I'm gonna break the fuck down. This is so disrespectful. Whoa. That's so dumb. It's so wild. That is so that is, stupid. That is a lack of respect. You know that shit's awesome, dude. <laughs> You know, great. <laughs> it's, it's so shitty. <laughs> All right, let's 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 move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Oh my god, that's so fucking stupid. Uh, oh I have no urethra god. and I'm swelling with cum. It's leaking through my pores. Wrote and he says, "Hello, trio of slurs." With the looming threat of the holidays, what is your least? What is your favorite and least favorite festive day? My favorite is Dia de, los Muel- Dia de los Muertos, and least favorite is Mexican Independence Day. Not all that different from the American one, probably. Yeah. Uh... Ooh, favorite is Thanksgiving off top. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Easily. Man, I don't know what... I don't know what my favorite... It probably... I think Halloween is only because of like the what it, what it indicates for the seasons and stuff and also it's just fun to see people dress as like fucking outrageous shit like there's always some costume every year that's like how the fuck like i saw some guy dress as a canon a canon dslr and it was like a, a big ass like fucking thing and it actually took pictures and i'm like what the f- that's insane that you figured that out but it's like it's, it's just kind of like this weird thing where it's like everybody who's like loosely into cosplay but not enough to commit to it comes out and does something cool for it and i, I appreciate that it's it's fun also, it's just getting colder. It's I just kind of like that vibe. Uh, least favorite is probably fucking... Yeah. I don't know, honestly, I don't know. I, I, I don't like Valentine's Day at all. I think Same. Valentine's Day really Ugh. fucking sucks. I think Valentine's Same. Day is... like Because I remember thinking, like... I have brought this up to it's so many devil. of my partners in the past. Where, where it's, it's like, listen, babe. Let's do okay. something the day after Valentine's Day. Because... Everyone's going to be out Valentine's Day. It's going to be dumb expensive. And then the next day, no one's going to be doing anything. So let's just go and like have all the uh, these restaurants and these venues to ourselves because what what does it matter if it's on the day or not? And it's always a big deal that it's that it, she that wants, it has to be on the fucking day. Post, she wants to post pictures on uh Okay, well then let's Instagram. do it the day before. Let's do it the day before. It's like ah, no, it has to be see? it has to be the day and I'm like god damn it. This That's sucks. Day, and it's also people just like are, people that I, are sentimental before, about days before, bro. Like, before before it continues. I just like also just like the fucking idea of this is oh, today is the day that I I, I show that I care. What? Yeah, the designated day. Why is that a day? thing? That's what, like it's the designated dumb. day where you where you actually have to try your relationship, and then like <laughs> oh I, I oh I I've put in like ten percent effort, so that means I'm a good person. It's like no, I I hate Valentine's Day so like, much. Wouldn't it mean a lot more right now? Everybody listening to this right now, 
if you just went out and just bought some flowers or whatever or like a nice little meal, like something just right now completely randomly Unprompted, don't yeah. you think that would make way more and that would be way more sentimental it would mean way more and it would touch them way more than you fucking them expecting this bullshit on this corporate day so what like, sucks it's, just, the it's most... obviously rhetorically yes it would so right now go out and buy them something nice what just sucks go, the most for me it. is that it can be valentine's $3. day falls a month after my anniversary already so to do something for my anniversary then next month i do something for valentine's day I just don't like Valentine's Day. I don't think it's necessary. But if I'm, but I'm not gonna get into that. If if I had to choose a day, it would be like, uh, I hate what Christmas has become. I loved it so much. Now I don't love Christmas at all anymore. I kind of don't like it at all. It's my, like one of my I least feel like holidays. That's everybody, it's like if you're a kid, you liked it. If you're an adult, you don't like it. <laughs> I hate it now. I used to love it. Yeah, I hate it now. Kid, I'm not, cool I'm not, you didn't expect. You just got gifts. You didn't have to do anything. You're a fucking kid. Now you gotta yeah. waste a lot of money. Technically. I like um, some aspects of Christmas still, but like it's definitely no, it's nowhere near. It's it's not mm. even remotely close to being as much as as like when if you ask me when I was like seven, Christmas is a goaded holiday. You know, probably the the only right. I, honestly, Christmas might be the only holiday that I even considered to be a real holiday when I was a kid. You know what I mean? It's like right. ooh, it's the end. Right, it's right. it's the end of the year. You know, it's it's like fucking. There's a mythical fucking freak who comes in and gives me everything I want. Like, of course, vacation <laughs> time. It's winter. It's and, winter break. All that. It's, shit. Yeah, it's winter break. It is great, but like when I don't know when you're an adult and uh, that magic is kind of gone. It, it falls. Like I've always loved New Year's more than well, not always, but like for longer than I haven't at this point. Like I, I love New Year's. I don't know why specifically. I don't think oh, there's yeah. anything traditional about it, but it's it's just like in my family, we always have everybody's everybody just comes to our house. We cook a lot of food, we listen to a lot of music, and we just chill and just fucking talk about dumb Welcome shit. We play video games, we play bitches, play poker, here. we play dominoes. Fucking, we play some instruments in the fucking living room. It's fun. It's it's like a, just a big little thing to celebrate the end of the year. It's a lot of great fucking food. So I've always loved New Year's, even even while I was like. Loving Christmas, it was like, ooh, I love I Christmas. But then New Year's is happening, and I get to eat like ten pounds of chicken wings. And it's, uh, <laughs> I hate go. it. I hate, I hate New Year's Eve because I'm seven day Adventist. So my grandmother would celebrate all year service. So we'd go to church at twelve p.m. and we would leave twelve a.m. on New Year's Day. And I hated that it. Sucks. I hated it. That I sucks. hated it. The worst oh, shit ever. Man. I'm like, Grandma, why are you doing this? And she's like, I, I just choose to do it. And I'm like, Grandma, you have so much money. You have so much intelligence. Why are you doing this? And she was like, I, I, I like this. I find it calming. And I'm like, no, it's like, no, you don't. You, no, no she does. No, in- she did. That's for, what made no, it crazy. She liked she it for like even, an hour. She thinks she does. She, no, no, no. She, she, she wouldn't complain. She would sing hymns. She would read the Bible with people. She would talk to her friends in Spanish. It would be, it would just be, she would be so happy. And it got oh. to the point where I was like, I can't go with you, grandma, because I'm going to ruin your time by how unhappy I'm them. And she was like, I understand. <laughs> She's like, I understand you don't have to go with me anymore. I would be so bitter. So bitter. Yeah, I would just stay in the bathroom and beat off. Like, fuck it. <laughs> for hours. For, for 12 hours. Whole hours. I'm going to be beating <laughs> off until next year. That's crazy. If you That's edge crazy. that long, bro, you'd be a fucking disaster. That's goaded. Dude. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, that's crazy. I, that's so you difficult to conceptualize because I love New Year's. I fucking I don't love it. I, I it's fine I, now. You acknowledge like, that that's, the, you acknowledge that that's less about New Year's and more about what your grandmother did on New Year's. No, <laughs> that's just that's just seven day Adventist New Year service. You just go in for all year service. That's disgusting. I'm just like oh, this dude, is New Year's stupid is so fun. as shit. Because like New Year's <laughs> is the only New New Year's is the only time that I would see my family members drunk. Really. Like actually drunk, like like because they would they would have like so maybe wine or something at like Thanksgiving or like or like other like random picnics maybe they might like have a beer or two but like New Year's everybody's like we're because there's always the because it's after Christmas there's always the risk of like intense weather where we we might get snowed in or like you know all, all sorts of things so everybody would like free their fucking uh, January first and second in case. So they would come and then they would drink like crazy. They're like, I have the first picture of me that's posted on Instagram is a picture of me when I was old enough to drink finally at New Year's, drunkenly wa- wandering around in the background of my cousin's photo. And it's one of the funniest photos 
of because it's like a Bigfoot photo. I'm like blurry in the background. You can tell I'm drunk just by how I'm standing and everything about it. But I love New Year's. I fucking adore it. I'm excited. It's like the I only holiday I'm excited about too because it's just the food, man. It's the food. Uh, for me, it's Thanksgiving. That's why I thought of Thanksgiving. Also, oh, Thanksgiving we celebrate it. Where we celebrate Thanksgiving, it. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is what different national... because like Thanksgiving. No, no, Thanksgiving national. What about National Talk Like Obama Day? I think that's the best one. God damn Let it, me be bro! Clear. Uh, God, allow me bro, to be you clear. <laughs> All right, let that uh, take off, man. Imagine that taking off, though. <laughs> let's not. Let's not imagine and that millions of people in the U.S. are all talking all right. like Obama on one let day. All right, let's get the far. let's let's get the fuck out of here. All right, it's, we, it's we, time we, to go. It's, it's time, time to go. We've done it's time to go. Podcast. It's We've time it to uh, it's time to uh, get the fuck out of here because uh, I'm sick of all of you and my dog Bo is whispering right. really frightening things in my ear and I must leave. <laughs> my medicine is not my medicine's wearing off. <laughs> my my medicine's, medicine's wearing off and Bo's words are getting louder by each moment. <laughs> so to keep you safe, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out Bo, of here. Bo, no, I will not kill uh, uh, Michelle for the last time. I I I love her. Excuse me, excuse me, people. Excuse me. I gotta go. I gotta in the get middle of uh, his his fucking uh, inaugural address. The fucking what is it called uh, when they when they uh, when they address you the uh, the presidential address what or is the it State of the Union? State, state of, of the, the Union. union. He's doing the he's State just, of the God, Union. He has to just... leave. <laughs> Everybody's wondering why his dog is why is someone carrying Bo? <laughs> like, why is somebody carrying Bo in alongside? Why is that guy standing next to Obama and Obama's tilting his head listening to the dog? Like what the fuck's going on? Here? He's, le- he's leading into he's leading into Bo like with his ear. Oh, like, what did you say, Bo? Bomb more brown people? <laughs> okay, more as, drones, you, as you yeah. wish. As Bo it's said, a- we will have more drones. All right, go it's ahead. in your as name, Bo bro. Said he sounds like him too. He sounds like Barack Obama, the dog. <laughs> he absolutely does. That's fucking scary. It's in your name, Barack Obama. Let's, uh, all right. If you like what you heard today, consider supporting us over at patreon.com slash the snark tank. There's a bunch of tiers there that you can uh, fucking check out for yourself. Uh, but we have, uh, you know, $1 gets you early access to everything. It's, you, it's pretty much the, the basic. You, you get everything, like early, ad free, all that stuff. And uh, to say uh, thank you to our highest donors, our, our $25 tier, we, uh, we read their names at the end. Uh, even though I have crippling dyslexia, and you all abuse me for it, so count me down. <laughs> Three, two, one. <clears throat> Matt Walsh is a hero of our time. Sweet baby gang for life. The bootylicious exhibition of white Tom Sweeney. Parentheses. He's white because he was filled with cum and can't feel his fingers. Jesus nice. Christ. Come, man, the man of come. I am Christopher Raymond Gunther. With me are Thomas I H D Sweenard and Darren, some white guy Whiteman. Welcome to the white tank. <laughs> Indie Butter Knife. Jon Snow invented eating pussy. Uh, Andrew Tate's Tasty Uh, Taint. All right. Uh, Scraping smegma off gamers' dicks like it's honey from a bee farm. God God damn, bro. Damn. What is wrong with you? You should be a fucking writer. That was was so vivid. 3XO learning his father is a flat earther and uh, and his dad not wanting to listen to an explanation of the earth being round. The milkman that looks like Chris, parentheses, I'm going to make you a brother. That's scary. I don't even know what to make of that. Sweeney, quickly, there's a Twitter account called Sweeney's Guide. Go there and scan the code to see a video, not a scam. Sucking, fucking, licking, coming. (laughs) Okay. Emoticon's going like this. Storm boys for life. uh, Or storm boys life and what he like. Your noble truth. I have no urethra and I'm swelling with cum. It's leaking through my pores. Uh, Derek, I love you so much because every time we touch, I get this feeling. Every time we kiss, I swear I could fly. Uh, call her oh, Little oh, Caesars okay. the way her pussy hot and ready. Just drip MH that. because the stranger's pyramid scheme collapsed. Nancy Pelosi killing a Palestinian with her massive tits. Obi won't you blow me? God, why did I move to the swamp land? God, I moved to Florida. Save me. Never mind, Sweeney. I just realized you have swamp pass. I'm coming for Chris's button set. XOXO, Big Papa Shack. Kremlin the Gremlin. Binkus Stinkus. The man uppercutting 9 11 jumpers before they hit the ground. <laughs> Mitch McConnell's tort that concept is so insane. Mitch McConnell's tortoise shell, uh, Austin Wall. Okay, you said it right. Uh, hi, I'm Mega Man X8 guy. No joke, 29 is my favorite Spider Man. Serious here. <coughs> Abby, uh, welcome to Andrew Tate's Kidnap Women and Little Dick Emporium. Fragile masculinity sold separately. Wage slate 583. I feel gay. Fuck you. The Papini Brothers, uh, 
Emporium of Bullet Filled Uncles and Pepperoni Pizza Gliders. Hey guys, I just got a new dog. Can everyone say hi to Zuma for me? Uh, Initial D is a good anime. Prove me wrong. Fun fact, Kathy Griffin here, posting from my dead mom's Patreon account. Elon, don't buy this and ban me again. Have a nice day. Tell him, Steve, Dave. Andrew Tate is missing because God sex trafficked him back. John Strickland, I don't get why nobody knows Obama's last name, but it's clearly Bomber. He's been Barack Hussein a Bomber this whole time now. Uh, Merck's, that's so weird that that's a name after what we just said. Merck's 1889, (laughs) alternative universe Sweeney, where he's the same in every way, but he's also a big Reagan supporter. Creamed my friend's fiance, and now he's raising my son, John Redcorn Gang Yeet. God (laughs) Christ. Jeez. Jesus Christ, that's toxic, bro. Jesus, that is toxic. bro. That, that, is one of the, that is fucking outrageous. I The first church of Keith David, you can't tell me not to nut. Does Sweeney seriously think Wu-Tang Clan is underground? What? You might they have said that so in were. passing. They were once upon a time. Yeah, I mean, right. th- I mean every and the vibe is the vibe still there too. They st- they still have a definitely an underground vibe as well. They like they the RZA made their beats by hitting a radiator with a pipe, bro. Like what the fuck? Whoever that is is stupid. Some some suck me. I'm about to hit you <laughs> with the pipe, man. <laughs> Whoa! I went back in time with my 2003 Silverado. Oh, money, I was bro. born in 2022, <laughs> or I was born in 2002 and couldn't drive to run over Jimmy Hoffa. Pre Raz, Los Homos Hermanos, Blake eight nine six. Fucking kill me. Ryan Lucchesi, uh, Sloshy Scout, give him, give man a hand job and he'll come once. Teach a man to masturbate and he'll be coming for his entire life. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, that's real shit. That's real shit. That's, that, that is true. Uh, <laughs> depraved McBooty Warrior, bad ba ba booty doing the worm while eating her pussy. Uh, Alaskan oil field trash, swing punching a gorilla. What the fuck is that? Sween punching a gorilla to it has to be this way. Uh, Sue <laughs> Hulk. Uh, Bone Controller 25. Danny DeVito is a stealth trans man. The Gout Law. The Locust Grinder. Scrolling through his grinder matches. Lobotomized Jesus. Loves you all. He loves you big booty bitches. Um, the Loathsome Cum Eater. First Elden Load. <laughs> I just got that. The locust grinder <laughs> scrolling through his grinder matches. So we just swiping and going grind. I like grind. that. Grind. I like that a lot. I didn't, I didn't fucking get that at all. Because <laughs> he says locust, but like I just, for some reason, like locust, I just think of like the bu- the actual thing. The actual first. bug? Yeah, you know why? So like, I was like, I don't know. Everybody does. Yeah, but it's a proper right. noun. It is capitalized. <laughs> just that is so fucking funny. <laughs> that is such right. a good idea. That is so specific. Because right? that couldn't have happened in 2008. That can't happen now. It just That's like you true. have to accept that it's like that is a joke out of time. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie and I were playing that. L- recently like in the last like several months in the in the last like five months we were playing gears war 2 i know that holy Uh, shit i'm bad at that game now it's fun though man (laughs) like i was playing with i was playing with eye blind and i was like gears war 2 horde mode still slaps it's really good still so fun so fun um god i I wish they i wish they would just port it already it's it's like really because that's something i would absolutely stream. yes yes Um, absolutely uh, and maybe one of you guys can play with us for exactly, like, what, 10 seconds or something? <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, so the only I stick like I that. touch while driving is my penis, parentheses, I masturbate while driving. Chris's cum-filled cum gutters. Jackson, Absage, Badly Brave, Hugger Director, Movie Theater Manager, Aetherian, Chris Gate, Mumbachian, Hunting Ass, Malfus One, El- uh, War- uh, Hexblade, Warlock, Supremacist. And rounding out our list, as always, the man who is arguably responsible for keeping us afloat, probably, at this point, uh, the King of Haphazard. Let's go. Thank you. Let's pr- all hail the king. What a what a good guy. May he rest so, in uh, peace. Cool. May he rest in N-word. peace. <laughs> anyway, uh, that'll be it. Um, this is a long one. Yeah, a little bit longer yeah. than usual. A little bit of a, a little longer than usual. A little bit but, of a uh, length. A little bit of a extra. Like a little bit of extra height to it. Penis. Yeah. yeah. This, this episode is longer than Chris Redfield's penis. No, it's not. Uh, no, it's absolutely not. It's not even It's not, not even, even a close. fraction, quite frankly. He could have broke that brick. He could have broke that payroll with his dick, but he was like, "I want to give a challenge. I'm gonna use my arms." <laughs> Chris Redfield's Chris, dad is a tripod. Chris Redfield, when he gets a boner, he gets tired for real. That's how big his dick is. <laughs> Can you imagine, <laughs> really, for, like if <laughs> we gotta go? We gotta end this. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, I gotta go pick up my copy of God of War, and I gotta go to the gym. All right. Gay. Peace. Peace, everybody. All right. Bye. Later on. Bye. Sexy people.